Uh, Pete Davidson, fuck your life. Bing bong. What you gonna do when you see Joe Byron in the Oval Office? I'm gonna give him a big old kiss. Hey, yo. Are you breathing well? Are you eating well? Are you okay daily? And what time do you go to sleep at night? Because I'm here to help you. Here's the thing, though. You don't. You don't. You, know, and you don't inhale. You kind of. It'll fucking kill you. you just want like, I want. I want it to die for like, like probably thirty minutes. So tell me what, what you think about titties. All right. Well, I guess it's my turn to be an amateur. I guess, huh? <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> Fuck your life. <laughs> Fuck your life. Oh, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Funky Panther. Coming to you from Fort Worth, Texas, we've got a phenomenal show for you here tonight on episode number 73. We've got our buddy Joe. You want to say hey? What's up? What's up? From the TFTI podcast, a, uh, you know, stepbrother of the Funky Panther here in Fort Worth. Uh, and so we'll get into, you know, their podcast, learn a little bit about him. Uh, we have a few things to talk about. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's get into it. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. And I'm Tim. And we are the, the Funky Panther. Panther. Man, you wouldn't rush that shit. Why did you go so fast? God damn. I'm sorry. Can you just do it <laughs> right just once? once? Okay, one. No, no, it's too late. No, the, no. It's we too run late it again. to apologize. No, no. It's too, too late. Too late to apologize. Yeah, man. It's like, I don't know how many times in a row you've got to fuck this up now. I felt like I did it fine. You didn't. You know that, right? Y'all You're going to listen back and go, man, I rushed no. the shit out like, of that. Man, I'm, I'm a fucking moron. I'm an idiot. I mean, I think that. Like daily, so. and he just cut the sound. <laughs> he cut the audio too fast too. God damn it! Amateur <laughs> hour. Mm. Anywho, I hate you. I hate. I hate both of y'all. So uh, let's get into some. Uh, so usually uh, we haven't had a guest since we've kind of restructured our our thing. We usually do like some sports stuff and some news stuff, and then yeah. we'll get into you. But you're welcome to like join in the conversation. At yeah, any please. Already, already. Right? We want to hear about well, it. Well, do well do. So uh, what did y'all? What did y'all do this weekend? Anything fun? I had a garage sale. Made oh, six, yeah. Made 60 bucks. Damn. That was it? Yeah, man. Wow. That's it? We, did, we didn't have a whole lot of movement. The yeah. city of River Oaks is garbage. They don't like I, fine I things. I happen to be in Fort Worth, and well, we had no fine things. Yes. We had no fine things. It was just like hand-me-down underwear. Yeah. Hand-me-down yeah, underwear. Hand, hand-me-down underwear and uh, uh, a plethora of used sex toys. Oh, my favorite. Mm. Yeah. They weren't mine, though. <laughs> I mean, like used hairy <laughs> pocket pussies. <laughs> yeah. Can we say that? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but yeah. don't, please. We're not governed by the FCC, so it's okay. Mm, pocket pussy. Pocket. For now. If we were, they wouldn't let me be. That's right. Yeah. No, that's that's all I did. Oh, okay. Dad. That's fine. Chilled at home. Um, you know, whatever. Um, I need you to I need you to be loud, buddy. I need you I, uh-huh. I want I want you to like, you know, shout out. Shiny, I need you to. Oh no! Here. I just seen Jesus up there, and then I see. Uh, What's up, Jesus? I see Jesus Spectres production. Oh, that's, that's his. Yeah, that's oh, okay. Him. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. What's up, Jesus? Yeah, and then uh, Rania ATF, too is yeah, uh, one of the ones that. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Follows yeah. you too. There she go. Like she followed us after I was on. She follows. She followed us after I was on with y'all. And then, like, started watching and listening. Yeah, she's so. a great fan, man. She yeah. shows like, yo, sh- she always, always supports and stuff. Absolutely. He posts the podcast back. Great job. Mm-hmm. No He's pressure, great. but Javier said a lot of great things about you. Yeah. Oh, man. I did. So, well, like, cool. the two of us are really looking for some greatness here tonight. Oh, damn. So, I think that's after. not what we get. <laughs> <laughs> After, It'll after. be my last time on the show. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you, though. I mean, you're already doing better than he does. So, one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. So, I'm pretty garbage every now and then. Our our our, oh, our bar is set pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. I was just on with them yesterday. Uh, TFTI yes. recording on live, and it was great a episode. Great episode. I had mm-hmm. a good time. What was so great about it? It wasn't with you, motherfuckers. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. It was with people of my color, God damn it. It's always got to go back to that. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. We were talking about the verses, um, this last week's <coughs> verses, uh, Three Six Mafia and Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yep, yep. Um, talked about uh, comedy. The, uh, Netflix is a joke. Um, comedy festivals. Oh, up, yeah. And um, the headliners have been making news with uh, Chappelle and uh, Mulaney. Nate Bergazzi is going to be on there too. I think. He is. Yeah, there was a lot of people. Him. They had a fucking open lineup. It was like huge. It's ridiculous. Like too many people. Yeah. Wow. Which we can get into that later too, because they, they were talking to me about Nate Bergazzi and how he's a clean comedian. And I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get into it in a little bit. What did you do this weekend, Javier? Um. Um. Work party with Tamiflu. 
Um, got shit faced drunk over there. Shout out to I'm not going to shout her. Doesn't God, surprise but, me. Um, and then we walked across the street to Nickel City and got even more drunk. Nice. And uh, it was a lot of fun, man. All her uh, coworkers are very cool, and uh, all the owners too over there. Shout out to them. They're probably not going to listen because <coughs> they probably have better things. To was do. that uh, was that Nip City uh, hopping? Absolutely, yeah. it was. I think it's going to be like that until um, the end of the year. So I don't really have a weekend update. I had I did nothing. I was basically Tim this weekend. Nice. So I can we go ahead and get into a group update since you bring up Nickel City? Yeah, let's do it. Is that pretty much to conclude your weekend? It concludes my weekend, baby. So talking about Nickel City, uh, last episode we talked about how awesome it was when we got to meet uh, Travis over there at Nickel City. Had a good conversation with him. Um, as soon as we wrapped up our episode last week, we hit him up and he's like, Oh yeah, come on out. So he's actually going to be on the episode next week with us. Um, and we'll be there in Nickel city on Wednesday. And so if you want to come out, have some drinks with us, we'll be hanging out in the back area at the Bargasso. Um, and so yeah, come out, have some drinks with us on Wednesday. The, what is that? What is that? What is that? I don't fucking know. The 69. You, you, you set this up. You should know. Where's my calendar? Oh. What the hell's wrong with you? Amateur hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so hang out life. on the 15th mm-hmm. of December at Nickel City, and we'll be talking and hanging out with uh, yeah, it's definitely the 15th from Nickel City. Oh, thank you, man. Is and that we'll, the tequila room in the back? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's I've usually never open. Been back there. It's only open on the weekend, so mm-hmm. it's not going to be open, except we'll just be hanging out doing some video, okay. hopefully video. Video? Like, we haven't really done a whole lot of like, we don't travel, no travel live video. No. We'll see how we, we think we got something figured out, but yeah, we're gonna have to test it before we go do that. I got a couple tricks up my sleeve, and yeah. I'm not even wearing a shirt. <laughs> if, if you're watching this live, he's was that lying. funny? <laughs> was it? That was yeah. fucking stupid, <laughs> is what it was. <laughs> man, funny, no wonder man. you like him so much. So Easy much. laughs, laughs over <laughs> here. <laughs> His bar's low too. God damn it! <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so um, that's going to be next Wednesday. We also, shout out to Corey, we finished up our giveaway for the Panther City Lacrosse Club tickets this Friday at their inaugural opener on the 10th. Uh, and shout out to Corey, longtime listener and watcher and texts our, our Google voice not really all the a, time. Not a caller, but... No, he texts. Yeah, he texts. He texts, he texts he us all the text. time. Uh, so appreciate that. But he also won. He won the ticket. So we'll see him on Friday as well. Uh, if you are going to be at the game, which you should, right now tickets are really, really cheap. I know there's a Tuesday deal for like $10 tickets. Uh, we have two full rows. We got a whole group going. We'll be in section 101. So if you're going to be there, come uh, come say hey. And uh, we'll be there with the kids, apparently. How do you feel about those creepy kids? The who? The <laughs> Why do you keep acting? The, the creepy I, laughing I, kids. I to, I'm not used to having the sound effects. I like it though. That shit is dope. It, it makes it makes yeah. it go, it makes it easier. Like on mm-hmm. like doing the live stuff and then on post, I don't have to yeah. try to put stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. I, so, I really have like one move. It's like a couple of songs that we put on here, and then the kids. I've got hey. other stuff on here, but Robert Toner's back. Shout what's out up, Robert sir? Toner. What's what's Robert the word? Toner. How is it going? Mm-mm. So yeah, cool, cool, cool. Dope. We got to do one of these. I want to start going live as well on ours sometimes. Maybe not all the time, but sometimes though. Yeah, I think it'd be fun, thing. man. Like uh, I love watching y'all on the YouTubes, but uh, mm-hmm. I'd rather see y'all live. It's yeah. fun to have that interaction, like that real time interaction with some people. Yeah. Yeah. See what they're saying, chat back. Even yeah. if they're talking shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, Usually they're talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> on the on the flip side, like when we uh so if we interact a lot with the with the you know the the chat room or whatever, I'll cut some of that out mm-hmm. when we're like dropping the actual podcast. I want to keep some of it in there, but like if we're just rambling on about what's going on in the chat room, it kind of I feel like it takes away from the podcast a little bit. So that's my only, yeah. Appreciate that's my you. only complaint Appreciate about you that. doing your work and yeah, cutting thank that you. out, man. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're the real MVP. Sometimes. Yeah, well, then. yeah, I was telling him, I listened to y'all on Tuesday because now I have y'all part of the podcast rotation now. So every t- I don't. Ooh, nice, nice. The audio, nice. I'll be honest, I don't listen to the audio, but I do watch the YouTube, though. I okay, watch it yeah, when yeah. I get to work. Yeah. Okay. So I get to work around 10 ish. And probably around 12 is when I turn it on then. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, that's when I watch it on Tuesdays. I dig that. I got to get it. I, I was telling him, like, I think it was a few weeks ago, you hadn't dropped an episode for, I forgot. I don't think you were in town. Oh, yeah, he was, yeah, he was, was out of town. town. Yeah. yeah. And I was telling him, I was like, well, it sucks. Like, when you ready to get used to listening to a podcast so much and they don't drop, it's like, well, fuck. 
Yeah. Like your night's ruined now. Yeah, yeah. Like it just messes it up, man. See Thanks that? a lot, yeah. Tim. You had to go on a cruise and ruin people's lives. You guys enjoy your <laughs> fucking life. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I guess we'll just not take vacations You're anymore. a performer. <laughs> you got to dance all the time, monkey. Dance, monkey. If I had uh, if, if I had good internet, we could have uh, we could have remote did oh, it. Oh, that would yeah. be kind of... That would be kind of... Just sitting out on the deck, you know, got a video, <laughs> like not a green screen. It's like literally just the ocean behind me. It does show his uh, age, Tim's age, though, Holly. <laughs> the fact up? that Tim, Tim calls it a chat room... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not fucking aim. Hey, everyone, not- drop your ASL if you don't mind in the chat so that we can kind of see. Mm. No? no? ASL? Did you use the aim whenever you were growing up? No. AOL Instant Messenger? I knew what it was. I didn't use it, though. Damn. Yeah. Did, are, are you familiar with ASL? Yeah. Okay. Age, sex, location. Did you do the, did you, okay, if you didn't do AIM, did you do any of them? Like, the what it was, ICQ and... Um, there was a Yahoo, Yahoo one, too. Yahoo. No, sir. He's like, I just text. Mm-hmm. That's all I did. <laughs> Dude, I had, I, had, I had them all up, you know? I had them all up. I had people, like, that didn't use AIM that was on ICQ and then Yahoo Messenger and all that stuff. Yeah. Get into rooms that you weren't supposed to be in. For sure. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you watching and listening on the YouTube. Yes, I think that, you know, whenever he drops it on the podcast, I do think that the audio comes through a lot more crisp on the it actual is. podcast, but it's fun to watch too. Like we've yeah. been getting a lot more views on the YouTube. Yeah, I need so. to figure out like, how can we get this audio better on the yeah. YouTube? We'd have Which, to, we'd have to re- like remove it. We have to remove yeah. the live stream and then repost right, with, right, right. with your with thing. The, so yeah, yeah. it'd be kind of a, I don't know. I don't know. It's not hard. You can do it with, um, it depends on how you're going to cut the audio. But well, if I don't the, cut the audio at all, just do that. We could probably do well, that. With like Adobe um, Premiere, Premier, yeah. you can just separate the audio, cut the audio, and then add. That's what I was doing with like the, the TikTok stuff. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. This but. sounds like really good talk for people to listen to us <laughs> talk about what we may do in the future. They're like, this is the fucking audio. boring, guys. What do y'all <laughs> fucking click? <laughs> All right. So, uh, Javier, I think it's time for sports. Okay. We're going to, are we doing our normal show? Yes. We don't know. Last time, la- last do time. Do the we fucking did. drop. Remember last at the beginning of the episode when I was looking at Joe and Man. I said, hey, we are going to do sports and news and then we're going to get into stuff with Dude, you. I wasn't fucking listening. He was. Look at him. Anyways. He was listening. I remember. And now, Action Sports with Javier. Take it away, Javier. Your Dallas Cowboys won 27-17 against Hey-o! the Nolan Saints. But it wasn't a hot game for the offense, with the defense having four takeaways. We're in the home stretch with five games remaining, four of those being divisional games, and a game against the NFC leading Arizona Cardinals. The NFC East has had a resurgence with the Eagles and the George, the Washington George Washingtons, because they're called the Washington football team. I, I hate calling them that. Might as well give them a fucking name. Um, only being two games back, it's our time to shine. Next week, we play the, well, this Sunday, we play the Washington, George Washingtons at noon on Fox. The George Washingtons? Is that what they are The now? Washington, George Washingtons. <laughs> All right. The Washington Georges. That wouldn't be the weirdest name in football, honestly. No, no it's the Washington, George Washington. No, just the Washington Georges. No, 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 no. The Washington, George Washington. Wasn't there a guy that went in and like bought like every single type of name that could possibly be? For oh, the yeah, Washington. I heard about that. Yeah, that's smart though. That's smart. It is. And then just in there holding them for ransom. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Like all the cool names. Why didn't we think of that? The Washington Wieners. No. no. <laughs> what are they going to call them? Like they changed the name of the uh, Braves right to the the Gladiators. Did they do that already? They did. They they, they have they already have the the wow. gear out. Wow. The shit. What do they call them? I didn't know that. Yeah, they did. I mean, I knew that they were going to the Cleveland just... Guardians or something. I don't hate the it's Guardians. It's not the Indians. It's like, yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. It's cool. What are they going to do about Kansas City Chiefs? I mean, I don't know. There's still too many teams that are yeah. kind of going through that shit. But Redskins, though, was derogatory. A little bit. Oh, I mean, yeah. The Chiefs, I mean, there's just the Chief. Right. I don't, I, I'm don't. i not a fan of the whole, oh, no, that's the Indians of the whole chop. Yeah, yeah. The chop, but um, it's, you know, it is Don't they do is. that at the Chiefs games, too? They do the whole. Do they? Yeah. They do that shit, whatever that is. That's, I've been to one Chiefs game, and when I was there, they were doing this like the whole time. What's it like over there? The atmosphere? Oh, it was well. It was before Mahomes was there. Oh, okay. So it was who was the quarterback before? I think it was um, the guy who broke his leg, right? Yeah, oh no, it was Alex name, Smith. Dude. Yeah, yeah, oh, Alex Smith. Yeah, I was there when he was there. But dude, the atmosphere was it was badass though. That's cool. It was cool. It's always good to go mm-hmm. to a different stadium and see mm-hmm. how how they do it. I've never been. I don't think I've ever been to a another team stadium before. I was hanging out with go. Roman and JD last week, and Roman was talking about how he went to the Kansas City Cowboys game, yeah. and he said it, the whole stadium was electric. He said it was absolutely insane. Especially now, it sounds oh, yeah. fucking badass. Yeah, yeah. They're winning. Mm-hmm. like They're doing great. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, I'm sure at the beginning of the season, they weren't doing that. They're like, fuck you. <laughs> like, you fucking suck. Get the homeless brother out of here. Quit fucking doing TikTok dances. 
That kid's annoying. I hate that guy. And that was Action Sports with Javier. Thanks, Javier. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of like started going away from sports talk a little bit. We're just Sorry. ranting. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, you're, that's good, though. Uh, you. Yeah, get get Mahone's little brother out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Whoa. I mean, <laughs> I mean, not literally. I mean, just, you know. Figure or, figure. I mean, does he got money? And not his brother's, I was going to say his daddy. His daddy, <laughs> his daddy. His dad daddy. was a professional uh, sports player, too. I think he played baseball. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. I have his baseball card. You do? Yeah. From, like, the early 90s, I think. Cool. Yeah. Which, I, I completely forgot about the whole J.D. Roman thing. I didn't talk about my... I said I didn't do anything this weekend because I didn't. But I went out with J.D. and Roman last Thursday, I guess before the weekend. Roman Reigns, the wrestler? No. How come every time I hang out with J.D., it's like, oh, let's just go out for a couple drinks. No, let's it's just never. stay for a couple more drinks. Yeah. You know what? The Cowboys game start. We can't leave now. Yeah. Well, we can go to halftime. That's you why he's what? a salesman, man. We're almost. He'll you know, talk you into anything. You know, the second half's going to happen. It's a great game. We might as well stay. Next thing you know, you're was it New, was it New Orleans where they were playing? They play at the Saints. Yeah, the Saints. Yeah. So the next thing you know, you got tickets to <laughs> go into Thursday night game, New <laughs> Orleans, <laughs> and and you're you know he's got cheap seats that are actually really good seats. We ended up yeah. drinking for like six hours. We ended up at was it a uh, Guitars and Cadillacs <laughs> over in Brian Irvin dancing. Mm-hmm. It was it was a shit show. I, I had a rough ride. When was the last time you were at Guitars and Cadillacs? Uh, years ago, yeah. and it was empty, and it, we were still. Was it dancing. during the day? No, it was like oh. by the time the game was over, we had a couple more drinks at the bar, yeah. and then we went to Guitars and Cadillacs. It was like eleven or midnight. Really? I would, dude. It's been like a few months since I've been there, but like on Thursdays and Fridays, they have like badass drink specials. Like before, like eleven, like I was drinking like Crown and Coke for like. A dollar. God damn. So I swear to God. God damn. I was buying like three of them and taking them back. <laughs> I wish I would have known. Yeah. <laughs> where where, where like, do you normally go, Joe? Where do I normally go? Yeah. Well, lately, as of late, I've been going to Magnolia a lot. Grandma's it used to be off the record. Mm-hmm. Now it's called Grandma's. I like going there a lot now. It's chill. And right down the street, it's called Paco's. Like, mm-hmm. it just started, like, kind of jumping. I don't know if anybody's yeah, been you, there. Yeah, you've been talking about that. Yeah, yeah like they do karaoke. karaoke on Thursday night. We haven't gone yeah. yet, though. Mm-hmm. I got a, one of my buddies that I've known since high school. He DJs there once a month. So every time he does DJ there, hits me up. So I go support him. And drinks are pretty cheap, too. And they make good mm-hmm. shots. And You got to hit us up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. really? Yeah. No, I'd yeah, love please. to go. Okay. It's usually on the Saturday, so I don't know. That's yeah, we're right. usually available on Saturday. Okay. Well, he's not. He's got a, a seven o'clock bedtime. So yes. as long he as, <laughs> he's as long a sleepy as boy. Hey, because I'm a sleepy I got, boy. Mm-hmm. I'm a sleepy boy. We're talking about about old people shit. So I I got I got put on a CPAP machine. Oh God. L- but it's life changing, man. This is conversation we're having, dude. Yeah. It's li- is, I'm telling you, it's life changing. I'm not super fucking tired at seven o'clock at night. So yeah. you're gonna hang out with us every night we go out now. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Do you, do you I still like it? being at home. <laughs> do you use it before you take your dick pills, you old piece of shit? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and you got to you got to wear it while you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> that took a weird turn. <laughs> All right. Per and. Huge. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> and now <laughs> it's time for news with Tim. Take it away, Tim. Thank you, Chad. I do appreciate that. I love it when you do that voice for me. I fucking hate it so much. I know you do. I know you do. So uh, somewhat local news here in uh, the greater DFW area. Uh, Mark Cuban buys an entire town of Mustang, Texas. Oh, God, Why, not? That? Why not? So Mustang had like 23 uh, a population of 23 people. Oh, okay. Uh, 70 acres. It is uh, home to the only thing I know in Mustang was uh, what used to be called Whispers and uh, then turned into Mustang and it was the uh, strip club. Cool. Lots of questionable things happened there, but he uh, so he bought the town not to do anything with it, but he was helping, I guess, somebody who owned it out, sold it for two million dollars. I knew this was up for sale like several years ago because it's been it's been on the market for a while. Mm-hmm. Man, we could have come up with two million dollars and had a town. Like I'm sure with our friends, we could have gotten enough money into it and we could have had our own town. So I, I I don't quite understand. So you don't own the seventy acres. Like you've got people that live there owning the actual land, right? Like so, what the hell do you actually own? He owns the seventy acres of like the Mustang. Like city has seventy acres. I yeah, believe. but the city has seventy acres. People that live there, but not on those seventy acres. It's not like the whole town's not seventy acres. There's people that live in the city of Mustang, but there's seventy acres that the town owns. So he didn't buy the town. He bought seventy acres within the town. But he owns the town. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I know, man. But I, what does that do? I, I, he he owns his own city. And he can do whatever the fuck he wants with it, I guess. I don't think that that's true. I, I don't know. I, I, I would I would really like to know what comes with owning a city. Uh, I really let's ask like JD. Maybe he knows. How the f- 
J- why would JD? He know? sells real estate, but this not is, cities. This, but this is like large scale real estate. I mean, it's got to be something, right? Joe, like, Joe, if you had fucking money, would you buy a town? Would I buy a town? Yeah, with I, fuck I, you money. Not fuck you money. It's uh, fuck it money. With fuck you money. <laughs> Does Mark Cuban have fuck you money? Yes, fuck He's you money, right? He's a fucking billionaire. Yeah, dude. Yeah, fuck you money. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mark Cuban's got fuck you money. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. have fuck it money. Yeah. What is fucking money? How much does that have to be? It's Man, really, I think fuck it money's like you've got a, it's enough money that you don't have to work, right? <laughs> different. Mm-hmm. I think it's enough money where you just call for something and you'll get it. Fuck you money. Like, uh, fuck you money is enough that you can call and you get whatever you want yeah. and you can tell I the people who have fuck it money just to go fuck off. So three, fuck, three fuck women. Million. Fuck three it. women. Bring them now. Okay. Fuck it money is 10 million. Fuck you money is 100 million. There's the difference. I think it's. No, I, think it's a bigger, I think it's a bigger. <laughs> if you're a billionaire, yeah, then you just a hundred million will do quite a you bit. You can take a nap. Yeah. You can sleep all That's year. That's still fucking money in my you opinion. Could buy still be okay. Fifty Mustangs. Yeah. You could buy. You could. You could. <laughs> you could buy fifty Mustangs. The cities car in the city for fuck you money. <laughs> Jordan you, wants to buy a city. You could outfit. You, you could outfit the whole city with with Mustangs. Jordan wants to buy a city, and then she wants to have like the Dallas Stars come around once a month for like drink day or something like a Sunday brunch. See, that's Sunday fun day. That's fuck you money. It is. You can get like the whole Dallas Stars. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to have Dallas Stars, Dallas Mavericks. Play course. hockey with each other, but without your shirts. Here's what we do. We, we buy a city, but then we rename it to Panther City and get everyone confused. Are We've we already got sued? the... Shh, shh, shh. We already have the name. Nobody right. owns the rights. They're like, oh, I'm going to Panther City. And they're like, uh, Fort Worth? No. We're going to Panther City. Panther city. You know what I mean? And that would be our thing. Dude, what, what, yeah, if, that'd be dope. what if we Pretty just... Re- basketball what if... Team. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We, Why we, not? We, yeah. Open, we open a bar called the Funky Panther. Of course. We open a strip club called Panther City. No, no, Panther I was gonna, Island. I don't know. Yeah, I, I was going to say on just Panther make Island. the entire it's felines. Felines. <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds kind of uh, pedophil- pedoph- pedophilia. No, it doesn't. Felines. It sounds like baby kittens. No, it doesn't. What's wrong with you? It sounds like no kittens is baby <laughs> kittens. Felines is a cat. I was going to say just make the entire city a strip club. Mm. Entire fucking city. You buy seventy yeah, acres. I it's mean, be like, what's that movie where they have the, tall. the Costco and it's like oh. seventy acres I large? I don't know if you 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 recall that, but I, I believe I just said that the city of Mustang pretty much only had twenty three residents and a strip club. Yeah, but like all seventy acres need to be a strip. Club. Oh, okay, gotcha. Like just this massive warehouse strip club. Yeah. So uh, have you heard that? Uh, moving on to other news. Vince Vaughn, <laughs> uh, Vince Vaughn was recently called out for a UFC fight. Oh, I heard about two that. fight, two fight. Yeah, wait, mm-hmm. he wants to fight. No, so someone, uh, so uh, Vince Vaughn's been apparently he's he's like real close to being a black belt in, in uh, jiu jitsu, uh, yeah. jiu jitsu. Yeah. Um, so he's actually, I mean, he's actually a pretty decent fighter. He's okay. fifty one years old. Mm-hmm. Um, Roth, Rafael, uh, I don't know how to Cuerta? Fiz, Fiziv. F I Z I E V. Um, he declared following his fifth straight win on Saturday night that uh, we have one legend here. Maybe he wants to fight with me. Yeah. His name's Vince Vaughn. Yeah. I love him. So I, I don't think it's going to actually happen, but with all these celebrity fights, I mean, you got what the, the Logan Paul or whatever and his brother and his Jack brother Paul. fighting. Um, you've got Mike Tyson coming back to back to the <laughs> ring. You know, who's fighting on this, on the uh, Jake Paul card, fucking Darren Williams. The ex basketball player played for really? the Mavs, yeah. the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's really. fighting. He um, got the first fight. Uh, Frank Gore. Player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank Gore. Yeah, he's fighting Frank Gore. He's fucking, fucking short. He's fucking ridiculous, man. I don't fucking get it, man. Next thing they're gonna have like a. I like the gimmick fight. I want to see a gymnast versus an ice skater. That's what I want to <laughs> like see. Like a battle to the death yeah. with the ice give skates me, on. Give like, me like Dominique Mochianu versus like um, Nancy Kerrigan. Oh, dude, something. Nancy. <laughs> What was it? Which one? Who was it? Which That's one? throwback. That's showing my age. Right which there. one was yeah. it that took out the knees? Was it Nancy Kerrigan got the, her knees taken out, or was it Nancy got her knees taken? Okay, out. who was it? Uh, Tanya Harding. Tanya Harding. She Tanya. already. She's already boxed. Though. Yeah, Tanya Harding scrapped. She did? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Celebrity boxing. They used to have a thing like back in the day. Day. Like, yeah. Oh, the claymation one. No, that was yes. celebrity, that was celebrity, celebrity death, death match. <laughs> oh, celebrity death bo- match. Death yeah. match. Yeah, that was a boxing. great show. Basically, that was just telling the future. It seems like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Shit. But I mean, fighting. So okay, like, tell me more about this Vince Vaughn. Tell thing. me more. Tell me. Well, more. I mean, that's it. So he just got called. So Vince Vaughn, he's 51 years old, uh, but he's worked his way up over the past, like I think, eight years is what it said, um, and he's almost a almost a black belt in Brazilian <laughs> Jiu Jitsu. So I mean, he's he he's proven in that aspect, right? But he just got called out. I don't think, and it's and it said in the article that more than likely he's not going to fight. But I mean, with all these different celebrity shit that's happened mm. with these different fights, I mean, I could I could see it maybe like kind of just like an undercard or or even just like a um, just kind of a gimmick match, you know, just a purse match or whatever. And 
I think it would probably have to be like a jujitsu match then. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Probably, probably couldn't yeah. like. I don't think he's like. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's got a like a mixed martial like arts. Like a grappling, but, like a grappling thing, right? Just guess, like yeah. on the ground and. I mean, I wouldn't hate it, dude. Dude's tall. Like he's like I think like, what, like six five, six six. Yeah. So I mean, he, at fifty one, I mean, he's got the age against him, but he's I mean, looking pretty old yeah, too. He's on the new season yeah. of Curb Your Enthusiasm, and his age is definitely showing yeah. now. <laughs> so I don't know. Hey, you remember that uh, that cobra that went missing? Yes. Still got an update. Did they find it? No, nah, they still it's still it's still fucking missing. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just enough. So yeah. It is so two days two days ago. Nope, still out there biting kids. <laughs> two days ago, uh, NBC Five ran an article. Whatever happens to that cobra missing in Grand Prairie? And it was I, just a shrug, dude. I yeah, shrug, it, yeah. It, uh, like no no shit, man. I, I I read it through it, and it's like, yeah, it's still missing. He's probably dead, but you know, yeah. So I. They just, I thought that was, I thought that was fucking funny, man. They, they find just, it? No. Nah. It's Where did he go up. missing from? Uh, some dude owned it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and he's like, he came home and he's like, holy shit, my cobra's gone out of the enclosure. Couldn't find it in the house. Oh, no. What am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, so it started this huge manhunt, you know, or snake hunt for All, it. But Also a great way to kill someone. If you're just wanting to kill someone, just sneak a cobra in their house. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they gotta have like registries or something. Like you have, like, so they would be like, uh, "Do you have a black market snake eye?" Maybe. Yeah. I mean, on. I'm sure you could find one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just to round out everything, do you, though. Do you think he slept in his own bed that night, dude? Like, I, if you had a no, snake no, oh missing, God. how long? <laughs> that. How long before you go back home? <laughs> you, no, don't. Dude, you don't. You yeah. don't. You, you burn the house your down, house and you're like, "Fuck this place." <laughs> do, you, do you have to disclose that, like, when you sell it, though? Hell no. It's like uh, when a someone, cobra may live here. Also, <laughs> when someone dies in the house, you're like supposed to disclose like, the, yeah, there was a death in the house or a murder in the house. Like, I don't think that's in the clause that you have to disclose. Oh, yeah, we have a venomous snake that may or may not be in the wall somewhere. But it's a beautiful home and we're yeah. selling it for dirt cheap. So, you know, yeah, in, in today's market, I mean, people I just, could just fumigate it, right? Like, yeah, sure. Like they maybe. do with bugs and stuff. Probably. It could maybe yeah. unless it's got a resistance towards it and then you're just fucked. They're right? not invincible. They're yeah. snakes. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Just to round everything up, though. Uh, so I, I saw this article. And I thought it was pretty neat. So it's you've got 24 hours in the culture district here in Fort Worth. So this is the ultimate guide to Fort Worth's arts needs. Um, so just I was going to ask you, like, if you were in, like, where the museums are and all that stuff, you had 24 hours to kind of hit things up. Like, what would you be, like, going for? Uh, me? Yeah. You, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. I'm looking at, at, I'm looking at you. Talking all yeah, no, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. <laughs> um, definitely have to hit the modern. I'd probably spend a decent amount of time in the modern. That's like one of my favorite places in the U.S. Yeah. The place is beautiful. Um, dude, I don't know. Uh, it depends on what's going on. There's always events over there. Uh, you can go to the Casa Manana. You can do whatever. If You know, Dickies is right there, too, now. Yeah. Like, if there's a concert or a Panther City Lacrosse game going on, you could do that. You got all of 7th Street, which most of them, you know, I wouldn't fuck with a whole lot. But there's some cool stuff down there. So they uh, laid this out for the Culture District. Uh, starting at 10 a.m., hit up Eamon Carter Museum of American Art. I missed that one. Yeah, that one's good. Um, after you bounce from there. So admission, like, a lot of these places are free, actually, just to go in there. Uh, so the mission there is free. Uh, at 11, hit up the Fort Worth Community Arts Center. Yeah. Uh, make your way across the street to the Fort Worth Community Arts Center. Another architectural striking building in the district designed by Herbert Bear. So you can go hit that up. Admission again, Monday through Saturday. Closed on Sundays. Admission is free. Uh, noon, got lunchtime. Go to the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. Give me a Bud Light, too. I'll, I'll take a Bud Light, Chad. Let's start. Nah, he's, he's, oh, okay. he's, he's anyways busy. let him let him work yeah so noon hit lunch at the uh, modern art of museum uh modern art museum of fort worth uh, which they've got a really they've got a really good cafe there i don't know if you've ever ate there or not no that's uh, pretty good they've got good food good chef there um most of uh most of the time it's 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 actually uh admissions gonna be 16 dollars or 12 dollars for seniors military and first responders 10 dollars for students uh, so you do have to pay for that one uh, after lunch, swing on over to the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History uh, slash the Cattle Raisers Museum. They're like right there by each other. Uh, so you can hit that up. Uh, admissions, again, like 14 bucks or so. Are we out of yinglings? I don't know. What the? This is what I saw. 2.30 p.m. Get your afternoon tea at the Kimball Art Museum. And then uh, swing on over to uh, uh, the National Cowgirl Girl Museum and Hall of Fame to finish everything off. So there's there's tons of museums over there, and we actually... Was the we, Science Museum on there? Yeah. Dude, uh, they've got the whole, like, um, what do you call it? The star thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing's awesome. So we've got... 
we've got some amazing museums in Fort Worth. Um, and a lot of people kind of like, I think people here in Fort Worth that live here kind of sleep on it, but there, there's people that come from all over the world that to come visit that. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Um, they actually say like some of our collections are, are better than like shit you'd find in Paris and all that. Well, so. our modern art museum, I mean, there's, there's not a whole lot of, like you don't you don't see cause a whole lot of places. And no, he's yeah. got a permanent permanent uh, yeah fixture there. He's got yeah, a, installation. Exhibit, yeah. And then we've had uh, Takashi Murakami there, and like those are just two big names. But there's a ton of amazing artists that go to the you know put their stuff in the modern. And it's amazing. Yeah, and I, th- and I think uh, the Kimball's got the largest private collection <clears throat> of Monet. Oh yeah, yeah yeah, that's true. So I mean, it's pretty. I cool. think it's pronounced money, dude. It's a lot of money in there. Monet, Mo- Monet, Monet. Yeah. Monet. Yeah yeah. Where do you I, normally go on the in the cultural district, Joe? In the cultural district. Uh, where, so like, like over there, like Camp Bowie, the Camp Bowie, um, Lancaster, it's not West seventh, but it's like, kind of, it is. I mean, so, you know, you got like, um, West you, Casa Manana and all that shit, like mm. right there, there's just a little UNT health science centers right over there. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, so it's all, it's where all the museums are really. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, they really do the, so like where you said, like the Dickies factory and all that, um, uh, well, I've been to the Dickies factory. Well, not the Dickies factory, but the, the arena, the the arena, arena yeah, was, yeah. yeah, I went to a boxing fight there, but I don't really like go over there much i still do west seventh i won't lie i still do it sometimes yeah yeah i'm trying to like stray away from there now because that crowd gets crazy down there it's fucking wild now dude and now with all the everything's one way dude it makes it like impossible to to, like get get through anywhere there i I, yeah there's there's a reason there is a reason why um my job's got uh bicycle medics down there like because you just can't get an ambulance in in that area at all you know, you can't get a decent hand job anywhere on West 7th anymore. Yeah, you, you really can't. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I was just fooling. I'm fooling. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. No, um, yeah. Well, I- you know, one time I was on West 7th and they were like, uh, they had that backyard bar. And, uh, and they before, were like, Hansy's for everyone. Yeah, before, handsy, handsy, handsy. No. Before it was okay. built, they had like the fence and they had like the black tarp behind it so you couldn't see. So we were walking by, me and a few homies one time, and I could have swore I heard a girl moan and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> And I told my homeboy, I was like, I think somebody's getting banged back there. He goes, nah, uh. So he goes over there and he peeks over <laughs> and the girl starts cussing him out. Get the fuck out of here. Like somebody was really getting banged back there. Like, hey, fuck nice. you. You're getting laid over <laughs> yeah. here. It's, it's yeah. open season. Yeah, it's nice. it's public yeah. domain. Like yeah. actually before the urban necess or or not urban necessities, uh Urban, urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters yeah. was there. We were at library, not library. Um what was that bar over there? Dirty, you're nailing this. Um fuck, fuck, fuck. You're talking about was across it? the street that was uh Poor House. Poor House. house. Okay. Poor house. When that was there, uh, I was with some friends and I met a girl over there and uh, we were walking back to, I couldn't drive. So we're walking back to their car and we saw Urban Outfitters and I just pushed the door to see if it was open and there was nothing in there. It's like fucking barren. We just took her in there and did the old, did the old, did the old, (laughs) is that considered breaking in there and if the door is just like open? No, I'm not breaking anything. The door was spread Mm -hmm. up open. But you entered. I entered all right. So you're <laughs> <laughs> hey, So realistically, <laughs> joke. all you can be charged with is just like entering, right? It's, it's yeah. penetration. Twice. Penetration? Yeah, twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's fucking wild. I, I miss being young. Do you, do you? I do. I'm still young. I don't give a shit. You still act like you're an asshole. I mean, I mean, rude. I mean, young. My bad. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I'm so sorry. I meant young. So I know y'all go out a lot. Do y'all not really do the West Seventh area anymore. No, no, we're just South Maine. Mm-hmm. Like, South Maine. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, Magnolia, so like South Maine. Magnolia or South Maine, mm-hmm. like uh, Nickel City, uh, Bearded Lady. I like uh, that uh, Tiki Tarantula there. I've been there a few it's, times. It's oh, yeah. good. I mean, yeah, it's gradually the first time we went. It, it went. It wasn't too good, but um. Every time we've gotten sense, it's gotten a little better and better. And so, I mean, I, I love going over there too. And uh, tiny, well, I mean, tiny, tiny, tiny teens. Teens. I don't know. Now that uh, now that taps and caps is gone, I mean, we've got to go to Southside Cellar. We do. We need to make that a yeah. thing because, like, I I keep seeing them post like really good beer, and I was like, shit, I don't even know where to get good beer anymore. Yeah, do you, do you ever go over like, there? Oh, yeah, Southside Cellar. Southside Cellar across the street from. No, I've seen it, but I've never been there though. It's like it's a, cool a spot. it's a cool place yeah. to chill. They sell and- food there also. They or don't. No. It's just oh, okay. it's just beer. They mm-hmm. they got the store and then they got the lounge area where they have the taps there and you know pretty cool spot to be. And in. then Rabbit Hole is also another spot. It, I mean that's I don't really even know what area that is. Uh, yeah, it's not uh, even like River District. It's not even Foundry District. It's kind of in between. Yeah, but between that's a new bar, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't uh, been there yet. The owners of uh, or not owners, but the bartenders from uh, Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they opened up uh, their own spot. It used to be Vips. VIPs. I think the owner is. I mean, they're part. They're part. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, yeah, the owner owns both of those too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a real cool spot, and they're actually building a, a 
like a patio, a patio area. Yeah. yeah. Covered, a covered patio. So, okay. yeah, yeah. y'all got to let me know like these new, I'm trying to like find new places to go to so I don't got to go to West 7 so much because it's fucking pricey as fuck out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, like elbow to ridiculous. elbow. And yeah, yeah no, I'm not into that. Like at yeah. Maestro Taco over there, they got like a margarita pitcher or not pitchers, towers for like a hundred bucks. Like a tower of margaritas. A tower of margaritas for a hundred bucks. Yeah. What? You go to Joe T's and get a, t- a, get a taco pitcher for like, like 40. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, that's not that bad of a deal. Are you uh, saying it's a bad deal? I mean, a hundred bucks. You go to Joe T's and get a, get a pitcher for 40 bucks. Yeah. yeah. And that's what, Joe T's. It's like that's what a hundred, 120 ounces, something like that breaks down to about $10 a beer or $10 margarita. That's yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Too, too, too bad. If they're tasty. Tacos if they're shitty, are good too. Fuck it. Tacos are fucking good yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. So that's all I got. And that me. was news <laughs> with Tim. God, why is it so annoying when you do it? Because I was making fun of you whenever I was doing it. <laughs> and, now and that was news, news with Tim. Tim. Take, Take it, it away, away Chad. Chad. This is the fucking worst. Fuck you. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> now we can get into our guest. Joe. What's yo, up, yo, Joe? Yo, yo. What's up, the man? The third Joe we've had on the show. Can you do a freestyle mm-hmm. for, for Joe? Like a- I can't. Oh, yeah. So I was telling him. I was like, I heard your boy Chad raps now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, and he does a mean Dougie. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so Tim posted our stupid singing at the beginning of the last episode, and I was like, "Fuck, that was awful. That was so bad." I, I didn't know, know you were gonna post. Oh, that. I loved it though. It was so bad. I know and, it was bad. And so I was like, "Man, I've got to, I got to, I got to let the people know I'm better than this." And yeah. So I put that out there just from for, it was for me. It was for me. It was for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to make sure that yeah. people knew I was not that bad. But people people going. Nobody thought you were. Nobody thought you were bad. It was oh, just, it was bad. <laughs> Talking about Christmas, I don't even remember what I said. It was like some kind of like shitty Christmas. Rap. Yeah, it was a Christmas. It was a Christmas <laughs> song. It wasn't a rap. It was a Christmas song. Was this okay. on the last episode. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was on the podcast only. So a lot of times, oh, okay. like before we actually hit you know, the drop at the beginning of the show, he'll capture some like just shit t- that we're saying and then he'll mm-hmm. throw in some of the funniest stuff that yeah. he can find. And it was bad. It was not <laughs> very good. Javier started singing something and then I started trying to do some rhyming and it was just not, it was not. Yeah, good. he started off with it. It's beginning to look like fuck, like a lot like fuck this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never heard that before. <laughs> and then uh, Chad chimed in with his own little, yeah. Okay, so back to you. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of so every time we have a, a guest on the show, we've got to do something called the Funky Five. I've heard so of it. have you? Yeah. Okay. I'm all right. Uh, so we'll hit five really quick. Don't don't cheat. Don't you fucking <laughs> oh, look at shit. my screen? <laughs> no, I don't even look. I don't even look at. That's why I'm turning you. this over. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I saw you. So we'll hit uh, just five real quick questions, and just the first thing that comes to your mind, just say it right. And generally, we'll get into a little conversation with it, and then Javier will have a hundred other questions because he, he mm. just does that. So like, if I was gonna say, hey Joe, what's your favorite color? You would say black. Boom. Okay. Easy enough. All right. Question number one. Favorite Fort Worth restaurant? Ooh. I do not have one. No? So if, you, if it's like the first thing off my head, yeah. that's what it is. I don't have one. I mean, I tried that place, Kane Rosso's, the other day. That pizza place, that was yeah. pretty good. I'll just keep it with that. I All don't right. really, yeah, I don't really have a favorite one to that's be honest. It's a good spot. Yeah. It really is. Mm-hmm. It's tasty. Uh, favorite drinking spot? Mm. Uh, I still like Reservoir. Reservoir. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, actually, Reservoir doesn't get as packed over there. Like, it's not as, it's not that crowd. Like, well, there's more spots the other now. Ones. Yeah. They got like a million bars yeah. opening up yeah. over there now. So but I yeah, still love it's Reservoir. It's kind of like though. the OG. It's kind of yeah, old school yeah. now. Yeah, you know what I mean? There's not really any, like, young, I'm 31, so there's not like any, like, young 20 year olds in there, like a Texas Republic or something like that. Yeah. So I still, I like going there. So I still probably have to put that as my number I've been one. I've there in a really long time. Yeah. They have good food, too. Do they still do food? Oh, yeah. Nice. They had those close till one o'clock. Nice. Really? Oh, well, the, yeah. the kitchen doesn't yeah, close yeah. to one. They had yeah. those uh, chicken tenders that were covered in uh, uh, cornflakes. Uh, no, no, it was no, uh, uh, Captain, Captain Crunch. Crunch. Captain Crunch. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, was, that was really good. And yeah, they got some badass wings there too. They and do. Their fries are great. God, yeah, I should go there again. Yeah, we need to. Mm-hmm. All right, we need to have a like West Seventh yeah, night. A, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. We're, <laughs> we're just gonna end up crying or something <laughs> stupid. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> My knee hurts. I'm too old for this. We do have to go to Mags though in the next eleven months as much as we can before they are gone. All right. Uh, favorite local musician? Oh, shit. Man, I've been off the local scene in a minute. But I used to be real big in the uh, real big in the hip-hop scene in Fort Worth. And uh, his name was Kilo Artifact. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of him. I yeah, haven't. Yeah. He's, he uh, stays in Dallas now, but he used to be a big uh, hip-hop dude in Fort Worth. Maybe about like close to maybe like eight, nine years ago. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, he was my favorite local musician. Though. Who's your favorite musician, period? Ooh. 
You're asking me these tough questions. Ah. I didn't prep myself. <laughs> like, I knew y'all asked these questions, but I just forgot to prep myself. I thought like, write them in my phone. <laughs> I was going to say, God yeah. damn it. Ooh. Oh, shit. I really like M a lot. I like M a lot. Really? I like M's old stuff. I don't like his new stuff, but I like a lot of his old stuff. Would though. you say it's a different sound? Like, he sound. It, it's oh, not, yeah, definitely. Like, when you hear his voice, it, it doesn't sound like it was like yeah, 20 it's, years it's, ago. Yeah, it's not vintage M. I mostly listen to his old stuff, and then, yeah, I just. I just looked up uh, Kilo. Uh, so he's a Chilean? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. He's uh, dope, though, man. Took Interesting. It, well, I mean, I, I don't know anything about Chilean, so I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. sure, he's, I'm sure he's dope. So. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, he uh, took a job. He made it sound like... <laughs> I said he's a Chilean. Yeah, he's Chilean, so I'm sure he's dope. <laughs> yeah. But he says he's, fire, he's dope. He said... Uh, <laughs> I, I said, uh, he's a Chilean. He's like, yeah, he's good. Like, as in like... well, That means he's good I'm like, okay. He's or like, nah. most Chileans aren't good. <laughs> I was just like, I'm sure, I, well, I'm sure he's good. Okay. He's, he's probably spicy. <laughs> Uh, he was a studio a studio engineer. That's cool. What was the, what was the first uh, hip hop album you ever bought? Oh, that's a good question. I was just talking about this the other day. It was the um, it was the uh, it was a bad boy, uh, bad boy. Um, it was the uh, Puff when Diddy went by Puff Daddy. It was the last uh, album that Biggie. I don't even think Biggie was alive still, but it had "I'll Be Missing You," all about the Benjamins. Mm-hmm. Uh, if was I had it the Victory bad boy on there. Was it the yeah, bad I think boy it was family? that one. Yeah. yeah, had a compilation. Had Mace on there still. Yeah. That was the first one I ever bought. Who's your favorite bad boy? Like per- person on Bad Boy? Back then, Biggie. Really? Yeah. Mine was Craig Biggie Mac. Then Mace. I like Craig, Craig Mac and oh, then yeah? Mace. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Flavor in you. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I love that song so much. Okay. But yeah, Biggie was third for me. Really? Yeah. So, well, I, I wasn't Weird. really introduced into them. I was introduced to uh, to Craig Mac first, mm-hmm. and then Mace. And then all of a sudden, um, Puff Daddy and Biggie. I don't know how that happened. I think it was after he died. It was after Biggie died whenever I started listening to Biggie. Okay. It's weird. Okay. Yeah. Fucking weird. Well, one of my co-hosts don't even like Biggie, so shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see how that's possible, but it happens. All right. Uh, on to question number four. Favorite podcast? Mm, okay. A good question. Okay. Uh, the first podcast I was ever introduced to that I found myself was the... Uh, you ever heard of the Brilliant Idiots? With uh, Andrew Schultz, he's a comedian, and Charlamagne the God, he does the Breakfast Club mm-hmm. in the morning. Yeah, well, they have had a podcast out since 2014. I heard about them in 2015, and it's been my favorite till now, till this day. No shit. Yeah. So yeah, that's what are they probably my about? favorite dude. Everything like talk about comedy, talk about just what's going on right now, because like what's going on in the world. Just they talk about everything. They don't really have like a set. It's more like a comedy podcast. Right. They just cracking jokes and. Shit like that. So that's nice. probably my favorite. What are you to listening to out. lately? Like, what's something new that you've been listening to a lot of mm. here recently? I like Tiger Belly. I like I like a lot of comedy podcasts, man. I like Tiger Belly. That's with Bobby Lee. He's a comedian. Mm-hmm. I like. Uh, it's called Riffin Rip Griffin. Eric Griffin. Have you heard of him? Yeah, the he's guy a, from Workaholics. Yeah, oh, he yeah. played Montez on there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like his. Uh, I used to listen to the Joe Budden podcast. I don't really listen to it that much anymore. Just if there's something I want to hear, like I might look at the. Uh, you can see what they talk about, and it's something that I want to hear them talk about, but not really that much. And then yeah. I listen. I do listen to Thanks for the Invite podcast. I got to support my own podcast. That's there right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen to the Funky Panther. So. Man, I don't even listen Appreciate to our that. podcast. I just download it now. Really? What? I have to listen. Dude, I listen to it whenever I'm editing. I listen That's to it true. live. So you do listen to it. Yeah. I mean, I listen, I just download it now. And so, dude, I, I don't know. You, uh, do you do this in your podcast where you just like black out? You're like, I don't know what the fuck we talked about. Oh, yeah. We do that all the time. And like, you go I, back and you're like answering like questions that you and, and you're like, oh, I did answer that. You're like, OK, like not Javier blackout, blackout. But like, <laughs> no. I just I forget everything I said. So I have to listen to it just to make sure I didn't Was say it like stupid a old school. Whenever Will Ferrell does that whole uh, <laughs> he, he's up there and he does that whole debate. And then he's like. I just blacked out. What, what, happened? what happened? Did we win? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lyrical. He makes our thumbnail for the uh, for our podcast picture, yeah. and we do like he does like we put like three pictures together, and it's like we'll be like some of the things we talked about, and he always texts us like, "Hey, what did we talk about?" <laughs> I'm like, "We just fucking recorded yesterday, bro." <laughs> like, are you serious? We just recorded. Can't we have fucking to, remember. I have to leave my notes up. Like, mm-hmm. So we don't delete the notes until the day of the show, like the, from the previous notes, or at least until I'm done editing, so I can go back and actually look and be like, oh yeah, because I'll listen because I'm like listening to it whenever I'm editing, but I'm not listening to like everything. I'm just kind of like I skip parts and all that stuff, and and so I don't catch everything. And so I'm like, oh yeah, we talked about this. This was over in this part of the episode, and 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally have to do that. I always yeah. used to go back and just listen to see how stupid I sounded. Mm-hmm. Like I just I don't do, like the sound of my y'all voice. Y'all ever still cringe when y'all hear y'all's yes, voice? Yes, I do. Y'all, y'all I like do. That? I've gotten uh, used to your man, voice. I don't cringe so much, but like if I go back and listen to old episodes, I'm just like, holy shit. <laughs> I was wrong with honest. Us. I fucking love my voice. Really? Shut up. Yes, one hundred percent. I do. I, I tell you what. He I also do. scored highest on narcissist tendencies. <laughs> <Yeah. so>. <laughs> <laughs> that is. A you true think story. I'm the one looks looks at myself all the time? This motherfucker <laughs> listens to himself all the time. Yeah, <laughs> like jerking off under the goddamn table. <laughs> <laughs> you got me to his own voice. But I, but I do go back and listen to like whenever I do impressions, like when I do the fucking. Um, Alex Jones. Alex Jones voice or like the fucking John F. Kennedy voice or whatever. Yeah, I'll just go back and I, I like listening. Uh, to answer Jared's question, he asked, do y'all do a lot of editing um, on on the Funky Panther? There is some. It just depends on how the episode flowed um, and, and our guests. So I think that was more towards Joe, yeah. not for us. Now, now, now Joe, <laughs> I'm going to ask Joe now. Joe, Who's the narcissist that that? now, you piece well, of shit? That's why he, he specified the Funky Panther. He was like, this is one. Here's another and one. Joe, do you have to do, do you have to do a lot of editing with your show? Oh, uh, well, I don't really do any of the editing. I've been in the room while it <laughs> yeah, happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. but Jesus, uh, he does. Well, and we have a new producer, uh, Don Juan. Shout out Don Juan if you're watching. And he his said podcast, he was watch. too. His, his podcast. Oh, yeah. Uh, Osos Golosos. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Little promo, little promo for you, dog. Uh, yeah, I've been in there once with them, and it's a lot of work, actually, man. I was like, fuck. Like, it's a lot of work to edit and so all that. What do you do for the podcast? What do I do for the I post. He's the when fucking you see talent. Every, when you see everything posting on Instagram, that's me right there. When you see, like, the, we post memes, we post, try to post videos every day. Like, they edit the videos, and then we have a folder that we all have them in. Yeah. And I try to just post them, like, throughout the week. And sometimes I'll slack, and then as soon as it gets on my ass, I get, like, a mean text message. I'm like, oh, fuck, I <laughs> So you do about three times what Javier does. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, in overall work. Man. Uh, Jared says okay, on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, right. they don't. <laughs> he is right. <laughs> Jared doesn't do any editing on Tuesday, Tuesday, which he, he said he likes to go just completely off the cuff, raw. Um, as he said up there, he likes it raw. So nice. Condoms, who wears those anymore? All right. Uh, we're still on question four. Let's move on to five. <laughs> uh, so when a movie comes on TV, it's like actually on a TV channel. Uh, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm watching the rest of well, this. Movie. Hang on. We can, we can, we can also say like, if you're scrolling through Netflix, like there's gotta be a movie that like, no matter what, if you no. see it, possibly. No, 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 no. Okay. not the question. The question okay, is, okay, 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 okay. No, okay, that's okay. never been the question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nobody Ooh. watches TV anymore. I do the B questions, bitch. <laughs> It wasn't a B question. It was oh, like their bitch question. Okay. Yeah, that's what they are. Right. Okay. 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 Anyway, so you're scrolling through the TV because people still watch TV and there's a movie and you're like, oh shit, I got to watch the rest of this movie now that it's on. Even mm-hmm. if it's like three quarters of the way through. What what movie? Training Day. Okay. I love Training Day. Hell yeah. That's, that's one of my one. all time favorite movies and I can still watch it till this day. I just watched it like last week. Shit. <laughs> I watched it at work. It's on HBO Max. That's kind of how I feel about like um, uh, Pulp Fiction. Really? Yeah, Pulp Fiction. It can be. It doesn't matter what part it's on. Mm-hmm. It usually is always like I scroll through, and it's always the time whenever there's a gimp, like every single time. Of but course I'll, it would I'm be. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm watching it from this point on. But yeah. So Jesus hadn't seen. The, oh yeah, um, but that was my next question. Have y'all all seen Training Day? Oh yeah, in the room, dude. Okay, I, yeah, I I've, I've skipped over it. I hadn't really watched it fully. Really? Really? Oh my what? God, dude. I know. I, hey, I mean, I let I me ask you meme, this. I send the meme all the time. Hey, do you like you to know? get your shit pushed in? I've seen, seen that, that scene. Part? I've seen that part. <laughs> of course, you I know. like to get my mm-hmm. shit pushed <laughs> in. <laughs> Dude, I love that movie, man. It's so yeah. good. Yeah, because we gave uh, impression. Who? Oh, yeah, we gave his suit shit because he he met uh, Ethan Hawke like three weeks or a month ago. Three weeks or a month oh, yeah. ago. Yeah. And I was like, bro, why are you even saying hi to him? You never even seen <laughs> fucking Training Day. Like that's that's like the Ethan Hawke movie. Yeah, like you have to see it. <clears throat> and then after that, we just gave him shit about it until he watched it, and he finally watched it. So, so my sister yeah. ran into Ethan Hawke one time at a at a. Uh, antique store and uh, Ethan Hawk crop dusted her. <laughs> really? Yeah. And he posted it on his no, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't post it. No, no, no. He's he didn't like, post hey, it. I just crop dusted this lady. No, so my sister, my sister's like <laughs> in the in the aisle and Ethan Hawk walks by and the next thing she knows she's like getting hit by like his beef. Like just straight up like he just walked by nice. and ripped it as he went. Noise. So that's her <laughs> that's her Ethan Hawk story. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. He comes to he comes to Fort Worth a lot though. He's got yeah. family here, I guess. He, yeah. I think they were saying he's he, from he, Texas. Yeah, he's from right? Texas. He lives yeah. in Austin, I think. But I think he's got family yeah. up here or something like that. Or his wife's from I don't know. Some shit. I'm excited for his new movie. It's called Black Phone. Have y'all seen the trailer for it? No. Oh. It comes out next year. It's kinda like a horror suspense movie. I've never seen him in one of those movies, so I'm excited yeah. for it. Very yeah, cool. I think it comes out January, February. I'm down to see that. Yeah. 
All right. Cool. Um, that concludes the Funky Five. You did a great job. It's like Funky 15. Funky well, I mean, it was 25, 30. Was Channel's like, it's going to take three minutes. I'm like, no, it's not. It's <laughs> yeah. not going to take three minutes. like, remember when I talk? <laughs> <laughs> remember who I am? You remember me, right? Of course. So, Joe, we already established that you are uh, a member of the TFTI podcast. Yes, sir. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, where are you from? What do you do? Uh, well, I am from Fort Worth, Texas. Right now, I do reside in Burleson, though. I've been living there for a few years, and I like it out there. I ain't gonna lie. I do like Burleson. Nice. Yeah, so, but, uh, yeah, uh, I work at General Motors. I build trucks for a living. Um, sounds fun, but it's really not that fun, you know? It's <laughs> it, really it not fun. Not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay, well, shit. Yeah, yeah I'm just yeah, it's Fuck okay. me, right? <laughs> Man, you're an asshole. Just, like, he's like, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm out. Like, I know yeah, it sounds guy, super guys. fun, guys. Thanks for the invite, guys. <laughs> But yeah, man, uh, you work there and tr- uh, trying to work on this podcast now with the crew, man. Been trying to work on it for the past. How long have you been going on? Like a year and a half? We've, how long have y'all been doing it for? Almost two years. Almost, Almost two years. Y'all yeah, have I, I more episodes than us. Yeah, but we're, yeah, I think we're both like in the 70s, though. We're yeah. both around the same one. So yeah, just trying to get, I'm trying to get more serious about it. Trying to just get more, network more. Just yeah. shit like that. Like when I watch y'all, see, like y'all always get all these new guests. So I'm like, man, I got to network more. Like get new people on the podcast, like people that we don't know to come on the podcast, right. not like just friends and shit like that. So, yeah, you've right. had Javier on twice. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Javier's cool. Because we didn't know, and I didn't even know Javier before that. So yeah. it was cool. And yeah, y'all go up. Because huh? we met, we met, we all, at the Rar. three of us met at Raw. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So that was, Dude, it's, it's, yeah. it's weird, man. So once you start networking, You'll get people that randomly just so like we had a guy that grew industrial like he grew hemp here in Alito, and he just randomly messaged us and he was like, "Hey, blah blah blah," and so it was like, "Let's just have this dude on," and just kind of like starts happening, and so once you start networking out, then all of a sudden you've got all these different people that are going to start coming in. Well, because yeah. it was it was a sage, and yeah. then he's like, "Hey." Uh, talk to this uh, musician. Like, you got to check out my guy. friend Dustin Massey. Check out my friend Dustin Massey, and then that led to and now he's a side lover. All of a sudden, yeah. with all oh, yes, yeah. uh, it's like the four way. You fucking know what I mean? Love that guy. Yeah, yeah. that long hair is. Ugh. It's Beautiful. weird, man. Yeah. So get out there, and network. It's awesome. Yeah. You're gonna have all these. You'll start having all these like random guests. It's like you didn't know. It's weird because we don't know anything. Like I don't really know anything about you other than what we see on TFT Ti. Um, Javier obviously knows more about you, but like. When we get random people in here, it's just like, okay, so what are we going to talk about? How's it going to flow? How's it? Is it going to be a good episode? And it usually nine, works out. Yeah. yeah, it works out. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, I'm just trying to network more, get in touch with people. But always like I was always in my head, I'm like, okay, if I do like DM somebody, like, how do I start it off? Like, hey, I'm from this podcast. Would you like to come on? Like, I don't know. That's still something I'm trying to figure out myself. I'm not too sure how to. It's ASL question mark. ASL. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Chad does every time. It works. I don't and know. Then he sent a selfie of himself. Like, <laughs> but like like one finger in the lip, like one of these ASL. It, it just keeps working. Occasionally, he's in the shower holding a beer. It's like, <laughs> hey, shower beer. You want to come on? <laughs> yeah. So y'all been going for about a year and a half now. Yes, sir. Um, so how, how is that working out? Like, I mean, do you have like it's a. Going- like, I mean, is it, I mean, we talked earlier about y'all's yeah. live stream and uh, hopefully y'all implementing that soon. <laughs> but um, what, what other it's things? It's going good right now for at one point it was kind of low because if you watched from the beginning of uh, our podcast, uh, Lyrical wasn't there yet and Juan wasn't there, our new producer. So it was me, Jesus, and then Jesus's uh, brother and sister. Mm-hmm. And his brother, uh, his brother's a rapper and he makes beats. So shout out Jesse G. Um, he's still making beats. So he made like the song that you hear at the beginning mm-hmm. of yeah. our podcast. He mm-hmm. made that for us. Oh, okay. I was yeah. wondering. Mm-hmm. I was like, ours is good, but it ain't that good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my mom hey. was just put together with some loops and Whoa. Oh, you made that? Yeah, I just oh, that's made that. Nice yeah. cool. Thank you. Yeah. It's funky. <laughs> it's yeah, it's funky. It is funky. I mean, it goes with funky. I'm sorry, I wasn't doing beats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm from the streets, bro. Okay. <laughs> come on. I'll I'll come up with some beats for you. Yeah. No, as soon as Javier comes up with anything, then we'll throw that out God there. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get on Garage Band, you start making some beats. <sighs> so his brother and sister were, yeah. <laughs> were a part of the show. And uh yeah. I, I remember I, I remember hearing Fed on there. Yeah. And she, and she, and she uh she's into like photography and all that. So dude, when we first started, we had a badass setup. Like she would like take pictures of us and stuff while like we were recording like this. It was badass. So we had stuff to post. Yeah. And then as it went on, she stopped taking the pictures. And then when was it? A few then his brother left first. I don't know why his brother left, honestly. I really don't really don't know. And then 
few months later, oh shit, look at this guy. <laughs> you heard, you heard. <laughs> nice, I like that. You should start doing that for y'all, actually. That's, really? That's, 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 that's going to be part of his job. <laughs> Badass, man. So sorry, carry on. Yeah, and then as time went on, um, then their sister left. Then his sister left. So then it was just, oh no, shit, my fault. I'm going ahead of so lyrical join maybe a few months after, and he yeah. was a good, uh, he was a good um to come on. And then like I said, then his sister left. And then it was just the three of us. And then that had a we don't have nothing that big. I need to get something that uh no, I'm talking about the recorder. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Point someone's penis. He, he was, <laughs> yeah. He was. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I had I had mine out. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you think the dynamic of just the three y'all does it make it like because with us, I think at first we had five. <laughs> we had five yeah, people. Yeah, 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 five people, five on people on. Yeah. And then, you know, it, it winded down the four, and that was going pretty well, too. And then Jesus left to move to Egypt. We used the Zeus's God. mixer yeah. for his uh, PA system, and yeah. then we ran it straight into my phone. Mm-hmm. That's, was, that's that's how our setup was. It, it was, was ridiculous. Rough. It was bad. And then, like, three was just perfect. It was a perfect number for us. So yeah. do, you, do you think that, like, the, just the three y'all, because I think y'all mesh perfect yeah I think, three i think three is perfect man for a podcast in my opinion yeah absolutely. i think four is a little too much but yeah three is perfect and then also uh, like our our producer does like chime in like you were there yesterday he yeah. does chime in he's not there the whole conversation but he'll chime in here and there and he'll ask questions and i like that yeah Just me ask too questions off the out of nowhere mm-hmm. and then we got to answer them and shit but um yeah right now though i think um what we have to work on is just i feel getting a little bit more organized Cause a lot, of, so there's sometimes where we go on there and we have like, you know how you said you have the notes that yeah. you write. Uh-huh. We have we don't have notes, but we have like a group chat. And there's sometimes where we don't write anything in there, so we're just showing up with oh, like fucking. Oh, believe me, we do that too. Oh, we have okay. we have notes, but we, we, we're like coming up with like, hey, what are we talking about tonight? And it's like, <laughs> at least it's like maybe like seven <laughs> seven o'clock in the morning today, for example. Yeah, technically maybe. tonight yeah. was one of those examples. <laughs> maybe like half an hour before you came yeah. on, Joe, like, and you know, throw some what shit are we gonna talk get? about? I told yeah. Joe to talk about his himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, what are we gonna talk about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's tough, man. But yeah, that's something I think we can work on. But yeah, right now it's like. It's it's going good now. We just got a new logo out. Shout out AC. It looks great, man. Oh, yeah, it looks that, really, man. really good. Thank yeah. you, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, we just got that done. And if y'all need logo work, I'll give you his Instagram. If y'all if oh, yeah. ever want a new logo and shit. Okay. Yeah, because, AC. Uh, not only that, but the merch also. You'll have like uh, the shirts, uh, Lyrical gave me a shirt. Yeah, he showed me and the he shirt. Gave me the good. cup, which I left at work because I used it today. Yeah. But um, it's pretty fucking dope, man. And keychains. I didn't fucking think. How come we didn't think of the shit like that? Why are you looking at me? Because who's the brains? Brains? <laughs> you bro, the brains. bro, you can have. You're the fucking you brains. You can do anything you want. Okay. Well, the world I'm, is your oyster. Maybe I'm not smart Just, enough. Brains. Okay. Maybe you're not uh, <laughs> believing in yourself enough. That's true. I have been off my inside of presence. <laughs> you just for don't a have months. gumption. That's the deal. Who you're has smart. gum? Shun. <laughs> I don't know that word. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so dude, we've been going like y'all had merch since. How long did it take for y'all to get like merchandise? Uh, Since y'all started the podcast, a uh, year and yeah, I mean we started well, we started off with a uh, what was it um Teespring that, Teespring which is garbage yeah so they make I mean it's it's good because it makes it easy because you don't have any overhead but the product that they that they that comes out is absolutely garbage so sorry to anyone that yeah. purchased a Teespring uh, I did uh, I bought a hoodie and a shirt the hoodie the the shirt lasted a long time I still wear the hoodie but you could definitely see some wear on like the whatever right. the writing or the logo or whatever but when we started going to printed threads here in, in town in fort worth mm. man they all look great you're paying a lot more money but they look great the hard thing is is moving is moving merch i mean because you end up sitting on it and i mean we're going to hold on to like stuff so we have stuff when we go out to events and things we can give away but we also have you know occasionally like we'll have shirts with us if we go to you know a bar or whatever and someone happens to be like oh yeah hey i want to buy a t-shirt cool we've got a shirt in the car for you kind of deal but yeah. um that's the hardest part about the merch because if you're you got the overhead versus teespring it's just like hey if you want to order just go on there and order it so yeah i think the distribution is the hardest thing right especially Definitely. if you don't have like a website like we had jordan on before and she's got forever reckless her own podcast and then she also has like a clothing line yeah. and she does a great job of like her website and like actually like she doesn't even screw around with like trying to get people stuff she ships everything right just sends it right out and i honestly think that we should have gone that route because we're like oh you want to buy it here i'll bring it to you next week and then things happen and two months Never later happens. you finally <laughs> come there yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so yeah, yeah so that's what we're working on right now like it's been on episode 78 we have not got any merch yet and that's our fault so i was like man fuck it we just got to stop fucking around and do it so yeah so now we got the logo i think that'll be the logo for the merch some of that <laughs> 
I kind of want to buy one more logo to mm-hmm. see what we can do of it. And then, yeah, and then go from there, man. Shit. And then start that. Like we talked about it. We're, we're, we're trying to think of future plans. And I think like what you're saying, if you start doing it, then you, you can see that it's, it's serious. And then you have a stepping, stepping stone, like a stepping point. And mm-hmm. you could just like move forward with that. And then when that idea is done, you move on to the next one and the next one. And it just starts growing from there. It'll snowball. And then, you know, over time, it's just going to be. Next thing you know, your Joe Rogan status, you got millions of listeners and you're making a shit ton of money. You live in Austin. Yeah. Yeah. That, why not? That's, that's the goal, right? Or you bought a city called um, Mustang. Mustang and you've yeah. got a strip club and, and 70 acres. Why not? So, just, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm going to say that's cool. Just imagine that I seen a post the other day and it was like Joe Rogan made a hundred million, whatever he made, just bullshit and we're friends talking, making yeah. it interesting. And it's like, you know, his Mustang. friends are richer yeah. and more famous. Yeah. Than, that's obviously. the thing. Like he's got some interesting friends. Yeah. You know? I mean, I was watching yeah. one Snoop Dogg was on there and he was talking about, uh, what was it? Uh, the last time that he saw uh, Tupac al- alive, you know, kind of deal. And the last time they were together and, you know, and then he dies. And, and I'm just like, dude, see, that's an, that's an interesting, you know, that that's an interesting story. And we just, we, we don't have that pool. I can't get Snoop Dogg here. <laughs> well, who knows? I'm still working on Bill Murray. <clears throat> so, so JD, the other night he was talking about us. He's like, man, I lo- you know, I, I love the podcast. We never talk about it. He was like, what I want y'all to be is anytime someone famous comes into Fort Worth, like they're, you're their gatekeeper. You are the gatekeeper to Fort Worth. Oh, I love that. He's like, if someone comes to Fort Worth, like for a show or like, you know, musician or uh, athlete or something like that, they need to come through the Funky Panther before they, I was like, holy shit, you got high hopes, but I don't hate it. Like, I like that. That's, that, a, I think, that's a pretty cool ass idea, right? Like, I think our next step is we, we want to try to get, like, get some press passes. Like, I want to get some press passes so we can start showing up to different events and what whatnot. I mean, I don't mind paying for events, but I mean, that shit gets expensive, right? But I want to get behind the scenes with, you know, some sort of like camera rig or whatever and just like yeah. get a quick interview, you know, something like that. That's 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 what I want. I mean, whenever we're Zeus not out met, there, uh, whenever Zeus met Ethan Hawke. Yeah, we're not out there meeting Ethan Hawke or anything, <laughs> but he, he he makes films like he works on them. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Shout out six too. Shout out six. If anybody's yeah, there. Yeah. It's on Amazon, uh, right? Yeah, Amazon Prime. Yeah. He's a director. Uh, shout out six is on Amazon Prime. I think he said it's like a dollar. So yeah, yeah, man, it's cool. Check it out. Yeah. Watch it. It's support nice. local. That's why we got that nice camera too. Is cause we got kind of lucky cause he has a nice ass camera. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's a pretty that kind of, we kind of lucked out. That's a that. cool ass rig. You see how I see how nice ours. I like that camera too. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Get out of here, little yeah. baby camera. <laughs> a nice camera. Uh, this episode sponsored by GoPro. <laughs> yeah. GoPro, give yeah. us more cameras. Yeah. So when we got on the podcast, they just kind of everything fell in the. We kind of had yeah. everything. Only only thing we had to do was like buy mics, which I think we need to buy new mics here pretty soon. Yeah. It kind of just everything fell into place with the podcast. So. That's awesome. Yeah. So, dude, it's kind of always evolving, though. You know, you like mm-hmm. you, you once you get set up, you're like, man, and you start looking at other stuff. You're like, I, I could really use this new thing. Yeah, you know, I could use this. See, yeah, and it's just like, all right, this is like a little bit more money. Like we're talking about getting like a voice effects processor thing, and I'm like, well, that's like two hundred bucks. Okay, you know, that's yeah. it's just it. It sucks, but it's also like, okay, how's it going to improve like your your end product? I'll be honest. One of the reasons we started going with video is because y'all, I, I really love y'all's video presence. I think that that's a really big Thank deal, you, right? Mm-hmm. I think that having the audio is nice because you do have an audience that just likes to listen on their way to work and things like that. But you also have people that want to see what's going on mm-hmm. and we didn't have that. And so uh, you are, are some of our inspiration on mm-hmm. that. Thank you, sir. So appreciate yeah. y'all. And I also think you can get more fans by that too, having a video. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. You can listen. Like I said, I don't listen to the audio, but I do watch it on the YouTube though. Right. So that's why I'm saying you can also get more fans by that, more traction with that. Yeah, and you so I think it's a you, good idea. And you, you get more of like, um, it's kind of like listening to a comedian on 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 the radio or whatever, or on like uh, like one of the XM channels. You get part of the story, but the other half of the story is actually seeing it. And mm-hmm. so, yeah, a hundred percent. And I wish more people, if 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 you're listening to our podcast on the uh, on Apple Podcasts, watch go on YouTube and watch it. I mean, seriously, like you're going to get a little bit more from it. You get a little bit, uh, you get the whole, the whole package. And if you don't yet, uh, you know, you don't have to do it now. You can wait till January if you want to, because we're going to have a brand new setup, uh, updated studio. We've got a lot of stuff coming in January. We're looking forward to, cause we're trying to get like that TFTI video quality situation <laughs> going on. Coming in everyone's faces. <laughs> okay. No, come on. Man. What? what? You're having a good time. What? <laughs> Speaking of which, so like, um, okay. I know each of us, <laughs> each- <laughs> <laughs> Each of us has our own like uh, category of like host or person. Like Chad's the brains, uh, Tim's the producer, and I'm the wild card. That's what I call myself. So 
with you, Zeus, Jesus, and the lyrical. Yeah. <laughs> what What do y'all consider yourselves as? Like, you know. Well, Jesus is the brains because he's the one that got us. Well, he's the one that got me into it, wanting to do it. I've been like I said, I listen to podcasts. I was like, man, nobody wants to hear what I have to say or what we have to talk about, you know. But it turns out some people do want to do listen to what we talk about and shit. So Jesus is like the head of all of it. We do it at his house also. He edits, he edits it, and uh, Juan edits it also now. And then me, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of the wild card too. Like they always tell me, like I'm always just coming up with these random ass stories and shit. Like Jesus is always making fun of me. Like I'm always coming with just random shit all the time. Yeah. And the lyrical, he's like in the middle. Like because, like I said, sometimes we do bring stuff to talk about. Like I like music a lot. Jesus likes movies a lot, and his and um, lyrical, he can do both. Yeah, he'll yeah. just talk about both of them. Because for me, like with movies, like I can't talk about them, but I'm not that big on them. Mm -hmm. So me, it's mostly music, but lyricals in the middle and he can do both. And yeah. So. And speaking on that. Well, sorry, you had a, you had a question. Chad? I was just gonna say, it's, it's good to have that, right? Like that kind mm -hmm. of like diversity in like the things that people are either good at or their, 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 their conversations that they have and things like that, because you don't want like three of me, three of Javier, like that's just going to shoot a show. It's good to have like three different that's people out balance. there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But like um on on following up to to the your answer like how did y'all start hey you said hey hey Zeus like brought y'all together like what what was the conversation like trying to like start the podcast up and like the process y'all went through to like get it going yeah well I've known Jesus since fucking sixth grade we're in the thirties now when we were kids me and him used to rap actually <laughs> way back in the day nice. what was your yeah. rap group name. Uh, it was called Chaos and the Rider. I was Chaos and he was a rider. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Was, and also, it was Rider? Yeah, it was a uh, R Y. R Y D. I knew it. Nailed it. But somebody seen it one day and they were like, well, it was the rider. So it was D A R Y D A. So somebody saw his name uh, one day okay. and was like, Darada or something. <laughs> 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 They're like, who is Darada? <laughs> and then, yeah, so we used to rap way back in the day, man. That's why I was saying, like, I was real big on the hip hop local scene. That's how I knew about some people, like, wait, like Kilo and all these other people. Yeah. And then we stopped doing that actually, like, when real life hit, when we got old enough and work started working steady jobs. And then he's have he got married, had kids, and then just kind of just stopped doing it. Yeah. And then, um, actually, Lyrical used to rap, too. That's why his name's Lyrical. He used to go by Lyrical. I was wondering, because I, I was like, that can't be his real name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we asked him, like, you. so it's so hard for us to call him Daniel. Cause yeah. For years, we've been calling him Lyrical. He was like, I don't give a shit. Just call me Lyrical, guys. <laughs> so, goes by Lyrical now. Nice. And he used to rap with us, too, way back in the gap, too. But, Y'all still have some of those recordings? Or? Man. Yeah, we do. Actually, I'll send you one. I'll send Yo! you one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll send Javier one if you ever want to listen to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I we think it was our, play as our drops or something. We still got to We still got to play uh, Raphael's. Raphael's, yeah. I've got it. Yeah, I've yeah, got yeah. it. Stark gave me the CD. It's at the house. But yeah, I want to hear y'all's for sure. That'd be fun. Yeah, we had some high shit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to brag or nothing. Yeah, but... um. Just throw yeah. me on the hook. No big deal. I'll just, you, you know, you, a little extra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we should, man. Shit. That'd be dope. But um, yeah, so Jesus one day, man, it was like right before, I guess it was like right before COVID. We didn't even know COVID was going to happen, obviously. He just sent me a text message like, hey, do you want to do a podcast? We can do it over here. I got the camera. And I was like, I said, kind of just made sense. I was like, well, fuck it. I'm down. Let's try it out. Yeah. Like we weren't going to just put them out right then and there. We we're going to have some practice to see what we can do. And it was tough, dude. Like, I'll be honest with you. Like, when you're right there in front of the camera, even though I know him, I know his sister and his brother, I know a camera's on me and you got lights all over. And so it was like nerve wracking. So I was like, I was real uncomfortable. <laughs> I couldn't be myself. Like, did y'all find yourself like that as well? Oh, yeah. The first time whenever we uh, submitted it, I was just like, all right, so we're going to put this one podcast out, this episode, the first episode that we recorded. It was like the fourth take, right? Yeah. And the day like I like hit, okay, it's live. I was just like, oh man, I, I feel weird. I feel weird about it. I, I It's that whole mentality of like, what are people going to think? And all that stuff. And then now I think we're all kind of at a point where it's just like, we don't really care what we do care what people think, but we don't like let that really affect, affect us. You. Yeah. Well, early on, I was very reserved. I mean, not super reserved. <laughs> we were still saying some stupid shit, but like a lot less reserved than I am now. But, you know, I was always worried about my work is like, what are we going to say? What's Javier going to say? Like my name's on this shit. Like what's going to happen? But like after you kind of get some notoriety, it's almost like you've got a reason to do it. It's we, like, oh, yeah, we say some shit, but we're getting recognized. We've for all it, so. we've all come to terms that we can't run for office. Right. So 
Or we can. And it depends are, on how big we get. People, Actually, <laughs> you can run for the president. You, you know, Trump did it. Fuck, yep. who, he can do whatever the fuck you want now. You get yeah. a point. It's true. Yeah. Good he, he, he actually set the bar, so. Yeah. And that was pretty fucking low. <laughs> we, <laughs> you know what? When we hit, the, when we, we become of age, which we're not that far off. Well, yeah, just, 40, uh, 49. Let, let's put our hats in. Yeah. Jimmy hats. I think, Jimmy I, hats. I, I think they should lower that age. Yeah. I, 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 should be 21. Run for president of 21. <laughs> He's going to vote for a goddamn college student. It's like binge drinks and. I'd like, rather just buy the town of Mustang and then just be <laughs> okay. the mayor. Start there. You got to start yeah. somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cool, cool. But yeah, man. So yeah, he yeah. So like I said, it was nerve wracking and shit. So now we're finally used to it. Now we got lyrical in there now. So yeah, and like you said, you get like no, you wonder like if anybody's gonna listen to us. What are people yeah. gonna think? And then once you start getting notoriety, you just kind of start feeling like, well, fuck people, what people think. Like mm-hmm. we got what we got going here. If people do like it. Mm-hmm. They want to mess with us. They'll mess with us. Then. I love that. Confidence I love comes, it, comes right. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Do you ever it's look great. at your uh, like the analytics? And like, I don't. And, Jesus does, since he's the head of it. So, that was and he's always like, I mean, you know, like, like, do you ever like, like, uh, does he tell you like, hey man, we got people listening in this country and shit like that, yeah. or dude, it's weird. I heard sometimes he'll be like, hey, we need to do better because we didn't get that many listens this week because yeah, our yeah. our list is like fluctuate. So same, there, same. we may be real good one week and we're all like on our high horses. I'm feeling confident. Walking different and shit, you know. Like, <laughs> hell yeah, you know what I mean. And then there's some days where he's like, "Hey man, we didn't do good this week," and it's just like, "Well, fuck." But why? What do we do? Yeah, man, yeah. it's it's really like that. You yeah. know, you get like oh, you get real down about it. But I, you, I guess it just comes with the territory when you do a podcast. Like it just well, it's, it's kind of like what you said. Like if if you love it, then fucking great. But if you hate it, man, fuck you. Mm-hmm. Like if you're I, I, honestly, you do it for your own enjoyment. Do it for your. But it's it's almost like you got to figure out like what's the what's the what's the algorithm that I have to hit? How do I hit yeah. this algorithm? Do I need to how how do I title these episodes right? And, and is it like if I if I word it this way, am I going to get more hits because people are going to like they search something like they see like oh there's a podcast mm-hmm. that's talking about you know whatever. And that's where we struggle because we just I just come up with like some sort of random or I'll hit the group message and be like hey what what title do you all think for for this and I think we could probably do better in in that regards maybe and and maybe get more hits but we haven't figured it out it's funny you said that because like three weeks ago we did a because when he was on yesterday we did the review of the bone thugs and three six verses so a couple weeks ago we did like our pre pre review of that before it came out yeah yeah and i guess we put bone thugs versus three six in the caption one of them did and it was like, bro, we got like 500 views and we've never got Sheesh, that many. So nice. we were like, what the fuck? So like, this is weird, you know? Yeah. But it didn't last. The next one was like 50 or something. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, it was just so weird. Though. But still you hit that one like, yeah. and maybe, maybe you got like 10 new people yeah, that yeah, want to, yeah. Yeah, we got like five new subscribers. Right. And I there think it's some people we don't even know. That's a win. <laughs> but we do get some comments too. Like the person, I guess, who clicked on it, they, they fucking uh, commented, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting the goddamn battle. Not yeah, the- <laughs> he was like, "What the hell is this?" And I think Jesus responded a podcast, and he never wrote back. Uh, so hopefully, with the the podcast we drop tomorrow, hopefully, you know, we do review it. So hopefully, it does get some right, right. views on oh, yeah. it also. Yeah. So, yeah. so what struggles do you have? Like as a semi new podcaster, right? Y'all been doing it, a, a, you know, a little bit shorter time than we have, and we're we still feel like we're new, right? Like, what are some struggles that y'all have had in the past year and a half? Mm, struggles man well shit like well we lost people like i said that's one of the struggles losing people and trying yeah. to keep it together it was tough keeping it together because there was like one point oh well shit i didn't mention this earlier but like there was that one point where jesus was gonna leave i don't know if you remember yeah that. i did yeah. I, I was listening i'm like what the fuck like you know. yeah there was one point where because he's also a director too and he was trying to juggle both and he just said hey man it's real hard to juggle both so i really want to <laughs> focus on the directing so me and lyrical were like well fuck you're like cool leave your camera <laughs> <All right. laughs> well because in your was, house because you said he was going to be <laughs> yeah we do everything yeah. over there so now we have to find a whole new transition to yeah. everything like yeah because y- y'all had said he's going to pop in like every now and then mm-hmm. but you know it's not going to be you know that's kind of this is, yeah. was the last episode i'm like yeah it was now? tough and then uh some some stuff happened lyrical had to take a leave for like a month and then so jesus was like you know what i'll still i'll still do it till lyrical comes back but then Jesus ended up staying, and then okay. we got a new producer. Then, yeah. So now that we got the new producer, he wants to stay now, and you know, just do it from there. And that that was a real tough part because I was like, man, I don't even know the podcast is going to last anymore, right? Because you know, we were going to bring it to my house, but like me and Lyrical, we really don't know. Like I know how to record and everything, but as far as the editing, like we would have had to learn all that, right? And it's just like, and Jesus, he does a lot of talking too. So then it's like, okay, well now you and me have to 
be more entertaining now for Fill people to want, yeah to want to listen. So it was right. like it was like some dark times there for about a month, and so. But I'm glad Jesus decided to stay. So. Yeah. You, bro. Dude, we're on the cusp of like splitting up all the time. So really, no. Oh. I mean, but I feel like it. <laughs> it, well, it, it was, got hard mm-hmm. at one yeah. point. When it, Jesus left, we kind of like I wouldn't say we struggled a bit, but I mean, it did take a while to get that mesh. We, in. When COVID hit, we yeah. had struggles, uh-huh. big time struggles, because yeah. we couldn't see each other, and we were trying to do it over Zoom, and it was mm-hmm. awful. And then when Jesus left, we were trying to figure out the new dynamic. And then there was one point where you were working super hard because of COVID. You were working really hard because to because of hail. And then I had a bunch of school going on that like this just seemed like extra bullshit that we yeah. didn't need to do. And so I I completely feel you like the people piece. Like if you don't have it completely in line, like that that can be scary and worrisome because just one person gone changes the whole dynamic. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, and then like the episodes just aren't the same. It's like what's the point of us doing it if we don't have the whole crew together? Well, even for me too. Like God forbid. Like I have to. Every now and then I'll travel somewhere for work. Mm-hmm. And even with this going on now too, I kind of think like, well, what the fuck's going to happen if I have to go leave? No, we'll like figure it out. Work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would give you all a fucking key or whatever, but I mean, yeah, like it's stuff like that. Right. Kind of worry and think about. I mean, well, it's the same thing. Like I want y'all to continue on if I'm on vacation, but like I need to sit down and like, dude, just do this. Well, Get this going. Send me the file. I can. I'd rather can take a week or two off than yeah. us not be together. True. Honestly, yeah. I think it's, it's better to better together. That is true, because when uh, Lyrical was out for that month, me and Jesus were doing them, and we didn't get that many views, so I guess it's kind of <laughs> like, it's maybe because like they don't like the whole, they like they like seeing the whole crew together, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, some of them did good, but then it's like, I think people just like seeing the whole the whole crew together. It makes them feel better, too. Right. So, that's what I think about it. Because even with y'all, like, I remember, I listen to y'all podcasts a lot now, and it just feels good to listen to y'all, like, like on a Tuesday night when I'm working, like, I'm in that feels good and i think if like one of y'all was gone it wouldn't feel as good to listen to y'all and that's right. just a, yeah, so. unless that one was tim because, yeah that's I mean, fine, what, man. what does he add <laughs> i had was, uh at first it was npr voice people was like tim's too fucking mellow <laughs> yeah <laughs> what the fuck's tim doing get that dry old man out of there uh, it's, yeah, that's the other thing is like you put you get yourself behind a microphone and you like try to change like your whole dynamic and how you talk and everything and so then you just get get this like for me it was i uh, npr yeah. That's what I mean, that's straight up. You listen to NPR. I, I should get a job doing NPR. Again, it's the diversity, right? Yeah. Not only diversity in like thoughts and, and things that you're good at or things that you know, but also voices. Like the three of us have very different voices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can I make like good it. Mexican jokes. And, you know, well, I mean, I can too. No, you can't, motherfucker. You watch. But you weren't you weren't you drafted? Like, I, yeah, I, he you was drafted, yeah. but who else knows that? We remember the, the race draft in Chappelle show? Yeah, we we technically drafted Chad. We traded the Alamo and our friend like Mundo fifteen years ago. <laughs> yeah, we I've been San Mexican Antonio. for a real long time. We hate San really? Antonio because yeah. of the Spurs. We hated Spurs. Yeah, so, so go ahead oh, and give man. away their landmark. So they traded uh, a guy and yeah. uh, the Alamo for me, and so I'm honorary Me- Mexican yes, now. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I don't know if y'all know. You know, I like the Spurs, all right? Did you know that? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. All right, God, we can wrap okay. this shit up real <laughs> quick. Yeah, I, they, I, I had to coming. say that I because you know I listen to y'all's podcast. Yeah, so I already know. And that's why I ask a lot of basketball questions. So I was like, yeah. if I ever go on there, I got to drop the bomb on there and shit. But but I'll tell you what though, like I do have a lot of respect for Pop and mm-hmm. Tim Duncan. Like I, whenever they were going against the Heat for the finals, I'm always going to go for the Spurs rather than the over Heat. LeBron because okay. like you're you're it was a um, built. It wasn't bought, no, but, right? Yeah. So I love that mentality. And Pop all around is a great human being. Like he is. Well, Chrissy's gonna love to hear that. I mean, I'll be, right? I'll be, I'll be real. I was a fan of Tim Duncan. Yeah. Like, I like Tim I mean, Duncan. And so. for me, it's always fuck the Spurs except for Pop. Yeah. And uh, Justin on the chat, kick his ass out. All right, well, um, I guess <laughs> okay. we got to wrap this shit up. Who said go, say go Spurs go, though? Shout out to them. That's, Chrissy, that's our she's, Chrissy, a, yeah. she's a huge Spurs fan. She's oh, from San Antonio. Yeah. She got dragged and, up here because she got married to Hervey like a moron. And you I'm, know what I mean? I'm the, I'm f- me and my nephew, we're from Fort Worth, but all my other family, they're from San Antonio. So like my brother, my mom, my dad, yeah. they're all from there. Oh, okay. So that's, I'm the only one from That's like Zeus's in-laws. Zeus's in-laws are all... Uh, what is it? Uh, Steelers fans? Yeah. yeah. But they're not know. from Pittsburgh. No, I, I don't fucking understand Fuck the Steelers, it. though. Yeah. Man, fuck the Steelers. <laughs> but, um, okay, so yeah. to to kind of like wind it down, what are the future plans for the TFTI podcast? Oh, man, we got, well, obviously merch first, uh-huh. but we also want to start, man, we've been having, we're going to start, we're going to have, um, start doing skits soon. Oh, fuck yes. Nice. Really? Yeah. We already have some, we already have some written I know, out. I know, I you know. That Tim, dude, I know. Dude, we Tim? just had this conversation Why are you last saying me? week. Yeah. We're like, we need to start doing skits. Yeah, just, we just put more content out there, dude. Like, yeah. Just you know, other stuff for people to like recognize y'all from and know y'all from. So yeah, we already have a few written down already. The nice. 
difficult thing now is just time to exactly yeah just finding time to record them and shit and especially with my schedule i'm the one that's hard to deal with because i work nights and i work six days a week i work a lot yeah so just finding time for me to get in there and on top of that like you're already doing the podcast so you're already yeah. putting time aside for the podcast but now mm-hmm. you've got to put extra hours for like video editing content writing like it's a, it is a lot of work yeah yeah so yeah so merch first we want to get merch first and then yeah hopefully by Next month, man. Hopefully, we have the first get out. We were supposed to shoot like two weeks ago, but that's when the suits met Ethan Hawk, so it didn't happen. Uh, Priorities, so his, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> he meets an actor. Yeah, his whole weekend was. Big. Oh, actually, his and his uh, film six was in the at the ISIS theater in the stockyard. Oh, really? Very yeah. cool. It was in a uh, it was in a film festival. It got accepted into two, but this, that was the first one though. That's where he met Ethan Hawk at. So it was in that festival, and um, See, you should yeah. let us know. Did you get to go to the show? Yeah, we went. But we put it out there too. But next, but now that I, you know, know you more, well, I know Javier, but now I'll, I'll start putting the word out. Do we love there. that shit, man? Yeah, man. I yeah, we're going to hit you up out. whenever we go to like, you know, rabbit hole in places that are not 7th seven th- seven yeah, Street. Let me know, dude. I'd right. love to get, I like, and I wanted to bring a gift today, but I woke up, then I came straight over here. <laughs> it's so okay. if we ever do go out, <laughs> only I the got good the guests shot. bring gifts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. It's actually the gift. Like, just br- just oh, yeah, I did. They bring us money. I took a bottle of that acre. With the peach whiskey, oh, right? yeah, peach yeah. whiskey, yeah, that, that so, was pretty good. Yeah, mm-hmm. not bad. I did want to yeah. take this bl- yesterday. I wanted to take that uh, Texas pecan, Ooh, but I didn't get a, a chance to run over there. So yeah, that's stuff. But yeah, yeah, if we ever do all go out, I got a round of shots on me. For Fucking all of great, us, man. sounds good to me. So that's that's what's coming up. Uh, where can people find y'all? Uh, right, we got on YouTube. Thanks for the invite, podcast. Find us there, man. Subscribe to us, please. And on Instagram, we need more Instagram followers. We suck at that too. But that's something we need to work on too. Is trying to follow more people and get more followers because we got sure. like 400 followers is it tfti podcast right uh yeah they well thanks for the invite podcast yeah well i mean like on instagram isn't it tfti podcast or is uh, it like all written out thanks that's a good for the question, invite bro. Pretty i think sure it's tfti yeah, because tfti I, podcast, yeah, I, I, TFTI podcast. I'm he's pretty, like i just log in i don't yeah, handle yeah, that like, i'm pretty sure it's the same shit on on youtube too so don't listen yeah, to joe TFTI go TFTI find podcast. tfti yeah, podcast. it is tfti podcast <laughs> because javier doesn't know this kind of stuff for us either you are basically the same person i put it on the freaking now i realize why javier likes you so much you're the same person on different podcasts fuck your life yeah Bing Bing bong. Bong. <laughs> hey, you know that guy's an ex-battle rapper? No. Nah. His name's Nims, yeah. Really? He was a battle rap way back in the day. He Wait, was so a, his name's Nims? Yeah, Nims. Yeah, in, in, I've, seen, said I've seen him. Yeah. Like, like I, I have not in person, but like I, I know who you're talking about, man. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize. I didn't put two and two together. That's fucking awesome. Because he raps. It's, yeah, four. Yeah. it's four, you idiot. What? Two and two. Yeah, I put two and two together. It's four. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. I put one and one together. I'm sorry. Moron. What yeah, but yeah, he's an ex battle rapper because I know a lot. He's blowing up now for the Bing Bong yeah, yeah. shit, and I'm like, do people know his have origins you, that he's an ex battle rapper? Have you have you looked at their Instagram? Yeah, I follow him. dude. That that he's uh, hilarious. That's uh, was side talk. I, I looked it up. Other it's got like one point three or one point four. Yeah, million side talk followers. NYC. I think is yeah, what it's called, yeah, and it's uh-huh. just like those dude. I love that. That's what we need to be doing, man. We need to be doing that. Like I'm not. I would love to do that. That's like, how Javier like, can do What it. we did um, at the Panther City uh, interview night. Uh, for the lacrosse team, I want to do more of that. Like, I yeah. want to be on site, or even like at a brewery somewhere, and like ask people questions. Like, yeah. what are you doing here? What do you think? Like, what, do you like this beer? Like, what's your favorite? Like, shit like that. Just splice it all together. Yeah, yeah. I want to be bad. Get people I mean, that are drunk doing that? stupid I shit. I don't know his name, but have y'all seen? Uh, he has an Instagram page, but he goes on like on Seventh Street on like Saturdays. Yes, I have. He's like blowing up. As a matter of fact, um. I, I, I can't bring it up. Okay, cool, cool. cool. I don't know oh. if I can. I don't know if I can. If it's appropriate, no, we'll talk. We'll talk off. We'll talk, we'll talk, talk off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I know he's like blown. He is, dude. Fuck. Yeah, oh. he's in like on seventh, and he goes to Austin every now and yeah. then. And but every time I see him, he's he's in Austin. Yeah, very but cool. Israel. Pa- oh, Padilla. Israel Padilla. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's uh-huh. his name. Yeah. I guess that's the name. Yeah, I know he blew up. He had that one. Uh, did y'all see that one where he was on Seventh mm-hmm. Street and he was talking to some guy and then like. A uh, big white dude came in and started rapping Slim Thug. Yes, that's the one. That, that was blew it. Him. That's the one that blew him up. I didn't day. know at first. I didn't know it was yeah. here. Yeah, but you know, yeah, he was doing. He was doing Slim Thug, right? Oh, he did Mike Jones, one of the two, and then after that, he just got like twenty thousand followers. It was Mike Instagram. Jones. Who? Was, check him out. Yeah. Who? Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Mike Jones. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Michael That's Jones. Tim's contribution to Who? the conversation. I couldn't do that, though. Just go around that many people. Yeah. He goes like on Saturdays when it's like fucking Austin out there, 6th Street out there. It's just yeah. too wild. 
He just goes out there and asks people random questions. Dude, so, I mean, it's not that's not a bad stick, and no, and someone's already. And it's done not it, all so, on yeah, you yeah, either. Yeah. Like you're you're putting it on other people, and you just you're. It's all a numbers game, right? You yeah, talk yeah. to a hundred different people, and two of those people are like weird or funny, or they have something to say. Yeah. Nailed it. That's and people content. will want to talk to you because they're drunk. So they see oh, a yeah. camera with a light and a mic. They're going to want to oh, go yeah. up to you and see what, you know. For sure. Like that. We got to get a big ass camera hey, man. and a big it. ass mic. I, could do it. I don't know, man. That's risky because this drunk motherfucker is like, it is risky. Uh, that's true. You got yeah, an expensive yeah. camera. Have you seen you some gotta, of his videos? Because there are some videos where he'll like try to instigate people to get to fight. Like, you know. Jesus. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Nah. No. Hey, so do we want to jump into like, the game before we wrap it up or oh fuck I yeah, forgot the game. yeah how much we, time do you have do I, you, got time. I got like 10 minutes how long is the game oh we can knock it out yeah. all right we're okay. not gonna we're gonna do butter's biscuits though it's okay it was okay. about the island boys yeah we'll skip that mm. <laughs> island boy. i mean unless you want to do the no, island fuck that come on let's play the game it's play, all about the game and how you play, play it let's play the motherfucking game dude all right so this game is about misunderstood song meanings and what they actually mean so it's a kind of like a hodgepodge of like different songs over I would say from like the we'll say like the 60s all the way up to like the early 2000s okay okay all right so uh, first off we need to come up with uh, your call in name or your safe word okay so what is your safe word Chad um buddy buddy okay what's your safe word this is what you're gonna use like you gotta say it to to signify that you're gonna answer this question it's like your buzzer you're saying a word oh fuck pineapple pineapple okay nice. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, all right, all right. Nice. Relevant. All right, so basically the way it's going to work is I'm going to read out kind of like a description, and I want you to uh, call in, and okay. then whoever's got this, they're going to answer. Okay. So we're going to start off on uh, this one. I'll give you kind of a time frame. This was about probably like the 60s. Uh, this song was once described as, quote, 22 lines of graceful, plain spoken faith in the power of a world United by united in purpose to repair and change itself. Jimmy Carter once said it's used almost equally with national anthems. However, this song was described as virtually the communist manifesto by the artist. Anybody have an idea of what it is? King mm-hmm. Bong. Okay. Uh, and I'm proud to be an American. Nope, 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 nope. Can this we, is the sixties. Can we say like the name of the song or the artist? Yes. Sixties. I don't even think I know. Bing bong. I, I think it was like a cr- g- g- CCR song, wasn't it? Nope. Was it? That was the sixties. That wasn't sixties. Yeah, was. All right, you ready for it? Yeah. yeah. It was uh, the song "Imagine" by John Lennon. Uh, okay. Mm. All right. So uh, yeah, John Lennon. It was a comedy. No idea. <laughs> yeah. All right. Man, this game might be harder than what I thought. Come it was on, music be. man. All right. This song <laughs> is thought sixties. Right, this no song. Shit. Okay, so this is a this is a more uh, recent song. Yeah, bring on the recent. Uh, this song is thought to mean it's time to go home after a night of drinking. In reality, Bing it's bong. A- uh, what's that song they play at library whenever they close? Um, what's mm. new, pussycat? <laughs> yeah, no, that's not it, buddy. Okay, go for it. Closing time. That's correct. Mm. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, this song is thought to mean that it's a uh, night of drinking. In reality, it's a song about the miracle of childbirth, and was written when their when the singer and his wife were expecting Bing their bong. first kid. Uh, no, that, no, that, that's, that was, <laughs> that's it. Calm down. No. He, that was the description oh. of closing time. All right. <laughs> Oops. You just wanted to say it again. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, in an interview with People, uh, an American songwriter's uh, an American songwriter's Jim Bevilga christened this song as a garment rending chest beating emotionally exhausting ballad in reality the songwriter was obsessed with vampires at the time and wrote a vampire love song originally titled vampires in love hmm there's a lot to unravel there i don't when was it do you know around like the time frame uh probably like uh late 70s early 80s yeah see I'm anything. Oh, Let me give you. I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. All right. Um, you got to turn around. Turn around. Every now and then, I need a little bit. That's the song. Uh, what's it called? Bright eyes or blue eyes? No. Fuck. Tim, this game sucks. <laughs> give me more current shit. All right. It's Bonnie Tyler's Total Eclipse of the Heart. Oh fuck. Okay. No. All right. Okay. No. Let's go. Okay. Here you go. Most people miss the meaning of this song completely due to it being energetic and happy sounding when in fact it's a dark song about meth and meant to reflect the light and bouncy feeling you may have on speed. This would be like early 2000s. Pop, like a uh, like pop punk song. Pop punk. Kind of punkish, uh, kind of like alternative. Buddy. 
Okay. Is it Blink-182? It's not. Okay. I would just throw one out there that had a lot of songs back in the early 2000s. I don't fucking I know. I don't fucking know either. Third Eyed Blind, Semi-Charmed, Kind of Life. Okay. Yeah. That actually makes sense. Uh, okay, so let's go to... Jared's nailing these, by the way. Yeah, he is. All right, this song is usually looked at as a love song, has been used for proms and senior class songs alike. It's actually about a girlfriend moving to Ecuador and being frustrated with a breakup. Uh, this would be early, like early two thousands. Buddy, yeah. Is it Hey There, Delilah? No. Mm, I, I don't know. Nothing. I don't fucking know. Green Day's Good Riddance. Good, good Riddance. Riddance. Yeah, that or was a good time one. of your life. It was our it was our class song, wasn't it? No, ours was um, John Mayer. No, it was no. that time of year. Yeah, it was. No, it was the Ataris. It was okay. the Ataris. Yeah. It was the Ataris. This diary. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if you get this one. Most people miss the fact that this uh, this call and answer song that was used in countless jokes in the in the early two thousands. In fact, it was two thousand. Was actually a man bashing song about a good time being ruined by men catcalling women. A a calling song. What is yeah. This so like um, like when someone asks a question and then someone like uh, like people answer. I don't fucking know. The only song I, I can think of is Eminem's song. Stan, no, okay. like okay, so that, that's like, that's like right. So like it'd be like uh, someone shouting something and then someone answering in response to whatever they just like, asked a question. Well, these suck, <laughs> dude. I went through twenty. It's twenty-five misunderstood lyrics. Jill's gonna be we're late to work for all this right, shit right. game. <laughs> it's Baja that's Man who let the dogs out. God uh, damn it! Uh, <laughs> fucking shit. It is a tough game. Of course it was. See, I was hoping this wouldn't be that like that that tough, right? Okay, how about this? How about you give the name of the song and you give the two definitions and we get to choose which definition is correct? Okay. That might make it a little bit easier to digest. All right. 99 Red Balloons. Okay. All right. So this song is either about uh, what happened uh, if balloons crossed into Soviet airspace and was mistaken uh, for UFOs and set off a chain reaction of nukes flying around the world, or... It's just about 99 red balloons and someone's happy about 99 red balloons. Buddy, the the Soviet thing, the first one. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, a lot of people think this... Uh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> this is uh, Brian Adams' Summer of 69. Okay. I'm uh, playing this. I gotta pee. I drink too much. A lot of people <laughs> think this song is about the year or it's actually about sex. What do you think? I don't know, clue, dude. This game's hard for me. <laughs> You're, dude, just go ahead and choose. You got you two, got a 50, yeah. 50 chance. 50, 50. So is it about sex or is it about the year? Sex? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Cool. Nice. It was about sex and now it had you're nothing Javier. to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I said sex? <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying oh. he's got zero points and you have one. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. We'll, 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 do, we'll do one more. Okay. All right. So Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. You've heard that song before? Yeah. Okay. So that song was either actually about real American pride and patriotism, or it actually casts a shameful eye on how America treated its Vietnam vets. Buddy. Okay. I'm going to go with B. Yes. Yes. Oh, shit. Had Got nothing it. to do with that. Three. Got it. Yeah. Well, Javier's peeing. We can just wrap this up. Three yeah. Points. Let's. So, uh, Christy in the or uh, in the chat, they said when you said misunderstanding, misunderstood lyrics. I was thinking more like, ho like hold me <laughs> closer, Tony Danza. I'm with her. I thought you were gonna say more like. I wish it was that easy. <laughs> Not I, like okay. actually misunderstood, but like Look. misheard. Well, maybe. okay, we could do. Okay, that was misunderstood meanings. Yeah. And maybe next game we'll do misheard lyrics. Okay. So you had, to, dude. You made me. You made me come up with a game like last minute. Yeah, I know. I'm not so, saying it was bad. I'm just saying it wasn't great. <laughs> we, we should have done what was grinding Javier's biscuits. Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was. All right. So while he's in the bathroom, any final thoughts, words, anything you want to shout out, promote? Oh uh, man, well, thanks for having me, guys. Man, like it's been I said, fun. I watch y'all, man. I'll Javier, like you lost. You got to chug this entire bottle of whiskey. <laughs> you? Okay. <fine>. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I like y'all, man. Thanks for having me on, man. I would like to get actually maybe 
in the near future maybe both of y'all on I, oh. actually i was talking about i was talking to some other day i was like i wish we could do like a whole joint podcast one day but that might be kind of hard though. We, we've talked about yeah. that and we've talked about it with a couple for a other year, for yeah. actually over a year we've talked and we've been trying to figure out logistically how do we how do we make that happen i think we yeah. could i think we i think we've got enough equipment that we could probably get it all yeah, together but and do like, it. that would just be so much like yeah voice over yeah, voice over exactly voice. what i was thinking also yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> maybe like once i don't know i don't know <laughs> yeah try it out just a thought just a thought but yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, for everybody watching, if y'all don't follow us right now, uh, thanks for the invite podcast on YouTube and TFTI podcast on Instagram. Yeah, just give us a follow. Por favor. Yeah. And we appreciate you coming on. Yeah. We really enjoy the podcast and the video. Again, uh, some inspiration from you all. So appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, for everyone watching, if you don't already do so, please make sure you like, subscribe, leave us a comment, let us know how we're doing. Also, follow us on social media at The Funky Panther. Uh, if you're going to be at the Panther City Lacrosse Club game this Friday in their inaugural opener uh, here at the Dickies Arena in Fort Worth on the 10th, hit us up. Hit us up on social media. We'll be in Section 101. We'd love to see you. Uh, Javier's going to buy you a drink. I'll give you a couple stickers. Uh, it'll just be good to hang out. Also, uh, tickets are still on sale. And I'll give you a... Uh, a Rim job. A, a Back her up? <laughs> ZJ. He said, Z- he said ZJ. ZJ. Jeff's going to eat your ass. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, everybody, stay good. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. And I'm Tim. And we are the, the Funky Panthers. Panthers. Did I do it right that time? Thanks for accepting our invitation. <laughs>